So, hi guys, Von, it's back and back with another video. And, sorry, I just had to end the stream before. But hopefully, what, are you watching it? Is it live now? I'm just checking. Yeah, because it says I'm offline on here, but on here it says I'm live. Which is annoying. <coughs> <laughs> Bloody hell. Terrifying. There's no video though in the back Yeah. Oh, wait. No, I'm not using OBS, I'm literally using uh, my Xbox. I think it's coming on now. Oh yeah, I'll keep going. Yeah, I'm live. Okay, so that took a, a bit. So, um, if you hear some talking, it's just my friends, so... But I'm going to try to do a full all-nighter, just play through all the game. So, I don't know how it's going to go. Never played before. Don't know uh, anything. Can you just mute my stream, please? Cheers. So, okay, play. Oh, I don't know how it is. Apparently, it's really good. Huh? Okay. You might get about a thousand people on. Okay. <laughs> a horrible place on the internet where all the greatest gift cards in the world come to the world. Well, I'll pro prefer not. Too late. The Josh, stop it. Anyway. So. Are you ready to get about a thousand followers? No. <laughs> Lewis, go away. Anyway. Well, Lewis, come see this. Basically, Lewis. Once upon a time in the New York City, I've lived a community of fair characters, and, yeah, yeah. Let's see what happens. 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 Let's see what It's lagging. I'm back. So, a tiny bit lag because a lot of people are just at me trying to get onto the internet. Sorry about that. <laughs> I've literally just lost those four viewers like instant. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So, I don't know anything about this game. I heard it's good, very good, but. Oh, thanks for that. So, <coughs> apparently, it's like an eight hour game, maybe. Oh uh, yeah, go and check it for me. But I think it's like an hour, uh, eight hours and something. So. Huh? I think so. Mr. Cloud. <sighs> Shit. Big B. Listen, mate. I, I know I don't look human. It's a problem. I get it. I just stepped out the apartment for just a second to see what kind of damage this drunk shit is doing. You know, this is pretty weird. I'll get me already. First thing in the morning. Cross my arm. Uh, no need to kick up a fuss. Why not? Look, no harm done. I'll give you a pass, but listen. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple oh, as damn. that. You can't send me up to live with those animals. 
day, you know that's what I mean? subtle. Go see a witch. Get a glamour. Big B, they're bleeding me dry, mate. The quality of the spell goes down, but the rates keep climbing up. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? Uh, you know what? Get, get it fixed. fixed. Get it's it fixed. Why not? Whatever sort it costs, out. It's worth it. You don't want me catching you out of glamour again. <laughs> Fuck you now! See? This is what I told you about, Sheriff. You're just gonna stand there, do something, Big B, before he completely tears up the place! Oh, I said he missed. You're a real gentleman. I said he missed the thing. This is the last straw, Big B. He has to go. Fine. I'm, I'm heading up. I'm heading up. Get your glamour. Okay. Where's everyone gone? Must have gone upstairs. Pretty anyway. job shite. Tell me Oi. spend my money. Bang you out, mate. Dad, the lights are shaking again. What did I say? You want a big bad wolf to take you away? No. <laughs> Then get that fuck back inside! Damn. Pretty chuffed. You're staring at me for. Don't just shout into the mic, please. Okay. Cheers for that. You're gonna know who I fucking am, you hear me? Hey, look at me! And let's... What? I don't even know how to... You... There you go. He just put. Oh wow! Well. This is hard to control for your first time, you know. I think it's probably upstairs, Josh. Your phone. Well, okay. <sighs> God damn you! No whoa, 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 whoa! Hey, Don't. hey! You've got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about? Damn, you just bitch slap this bitch. I'll fucking kill you. Everyone calm down. Right. Come on. Oh. What are you gonna fucking do, huh? Come on then. Get the fuck out of the way before you get the axe again. Come on. Last warning. Woody, this is your last warning. If you keep Can you switch your phone like this, off? I won't have any choice but to put you down. Put me down? You've got a shit fucking memory, Wolf. That's not how it went last time. This isn't God. the last They're trying to call each other. It's really annoying. <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Bam! Oh, he's picking up and... Is that a knife? God. Oh. 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 Ooh. Fucking hell. I do not know. Oh, there you go. Fuck you. Damn it. Oh. That must have broke his, broke his leg. Well, I'm on the sofa. Sit down, bitch. Had enough? Ooh. At least it's a fucking challenge. Oh really? Wait, where's the that is? Oh fucking hell. Why is that? Lay down, bitch. Boom. Boom. Sit the fuck down. Oh, bring out the axe. Trying to kill me, eh? Oh, almost went the wrong way. Hey, hey. Damn. Go on here. Ooh. Knocked him the fuck out. You should probably get out of here. Look, I'm not leaving until I get what's mine. You're not getting shit, bitch. Oh, fucking 
put you on the ground. Shut up. Wow, that's pretty subtle. You bug my jaw, you bastard. And still you talk. Fuck you. Shit. What are you doing here? These lips are sealed. Well, that's... What the hell is going on? What, what happened? happened? A little misunderstanding that turned into a real shit show. Don't worry, you saw the best bits. There's more where that came from, girly. Knock it off! Why was he hitting you? Why was you? Maybe you should ask him that. I will, but I asked you first. <laughs> He asked oh. me if I recognized him, knew who he was. I said I didn't. He started beating on me. Then you showed up, started beating on him. That about cover it, hon? I'm the woodsman, you whore. I saved the little red riding hood from this monster. I cut this fucker open and filled his belly full of <laughs> stones. And threw him in the fucking river. That's who the fuck I am, you stupid bitch. Hey, what did I say about that word? Oh, brutal. Pretty brutal, that is. Oh, he did as hell. Hey, Toad. My car. Yeah. <clears throat> Give me a second. Oh, no, by all means. Take your time. Make yourself comfortable. Uh, uh, sorry, sorry about your car. About the being car. polite, you know. We ended up going out the window. Always be being polite. polite. I can't be mad at you. I called you, and you come to help. I can't be mad. Oh, he looks mad. He looks pissed. Things end up more fucked than they started. <laughs> well, at least you're not fucking dead. Oh. Come on, bitch. Oh, ripping his eyes out. I can't tap as fast. Come on. Go. Ow. I cannot do that. Oh. You just killed that bitch. How is he still alive? Thanks. That dab. Don't mention it. Okay. Come on, don't lag. I'm just getting what he owes me. Don't you? You all right back there? I mean. Come on, stream. Don't lag. And the teeth. Oh, I'm come on. Supposed to do that. Okay. Sorry, one second. Shit. Great. The guy's got an axe in his brain. He's not feeling that. It's more from me. He'll be. I'll kill you, you fucking bitch. I did not know that. I've just made managed to make it full screen. Well, I did not know that. Uh, you know, letter. Having a bad day. That makes two of us. I guess it's a good thing fables are hard to kill. Suppose it is. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Not coming out. By the way, I will be taking breaks, getting some like, getting some drinks and shit.
No, I'd light a cigarette for her. Being polite, as always. Thanks. Who do you work for, really? These lips are sealed. Sorry. Ooh, stare down. Hey, you like my ribbon? Okay, stop changing. changing the subject. If you don't stop my changing questions, the subject, I can't help you. I'm answering them the best that I can. Well, that's a shame. That's a shame. I feel like we've met before. Wait, didn't you just plug it into the HDMI one? We all sort of knew each other. Yeah, then you shouldn't need any. Just switch the TV on. Things change, I guess. That's not. I guess. No red lights on. You have to get a remote. So I'm just talking to my friends. They're struggling. There's a remote somewhere, Lewis. Search for it, like on there. Stop. We don't have to make any more of a thing out of it than it already is. Okay. That's about it. Are you sure? Uh, he's had enough. For tonight, at least. Wouldn't be surprised if he has an axe to grind, though. Okay. That wasn't intentional. Sorry. I know the last name. I've heard the last name before. How much was the OJ? Anyway. Sorry, I was just talking to my friends. I'm guessing it'd be bad for you to show up empty-handed. I'll be fine. <laughs> okay. Oh. I really wish I could help. So I okay. wasn't watching. I'll be fine. You've done enough, really. You got me out of a bad situation back there. Thanks. What was it? I'm still gonna need a statement. I have to go drop off what I have. Meet me back at my office then. It's a little late for an office visit, Sheriff. I'll swing by your apartment. How do you know where I am? You live in the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Everyone knows that. Good to know. Damn. You get cleaned up. You look like shit. And Just I don't what? use that term lightly. Some of these look pretty bad. I clean up okay. I'll believe it when I see it. I need to tell you something. What is it? You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Oh, damn. Yeah, a bit of romance up here. Oh, oh, get a bit hot. Oh, so what time is it at the minute? W one o'clock. Holy shit! One o'clock at night, eh? And I'll be streaming for like eight hours. Holy shit. So I'm gonna do it. Okay. Dun 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 dun. It's on there. Yeah, just press the Okay. Very loud. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> so our friends just. No, I'm loving that. first episode, you know? Huh? Speedy. 
say that out loud. Streaming. <laughs> no, I've got it on here. Oh, sorry, I was not. What? Why? I can't. How do you work? No, like, I don't get. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Don't touch me. I've got plenty of clothes on, thank you. Oh really? Oh really? Oh, the stare down. Come out. Come on out. All right, all right. Beauty. Hello, baby. <laughs> I wasn't expecting anyone. I know this looks a little odd. Yeah, it does. Not pretty late. Is there some sort of curfew I don't know about? What's with the third degree? Okay. Damn okay. it. Okay. Do 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 do. I still can't believe I'm going to play eight hours of this. Please, baby. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. He worries too much as it is, and it would just make my life a lot easier. Mm. Just oh. please. Fuck it. You promise? I promise. Damn it, why not? Thank you, baby. I'll explain it all to you later. I will, but I have to go. Thank you for trusting me. Really, I, I appreciate it, Big B. That's strange. You know. I'm literally just watching him dance. Hey, you wink. That was the randomest thing ever. You know, just talking to a sleeping person, yeah. So that's been a while since I got any mail. Oh, lonely person, not getting anything. Seventh day in a row. Well, okay. These camera angles are really weird. I need to get used to them. Do 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 do. Bigby, hey, wait up. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? So, have you? Nope. Nope. Haven't seen him. Yeah, lied oh. to him. Straight to his face. Okay. Sorry to bother you. Damn it. Something's going on. Lied straight to that dick. Oh, I don't know if he knows dick or not. Just lied to her. 
Lie to his face. Because why not? <sighs> Two oh four. Big B's apartment. Such a weird apartment. I'm cleaning up, you know. After what that? Who was it? The guy, uh, the girl in the first episode of this. You know, cleaning up. Looking fresh. in it to get ice. Okay. Yeah, I need to get used to that. <laughs> Bluebeard's file. Never trusted this guy. Okay. Look at loads of stuff. Probably See if there's anything sign. good or anything I'm not missing. What the hell? Hey, Colin, get up. <laughs> oh, hey, Big B. I'm in your chair, huh? Only got the one. So yeah. No, I'm being nice. <laughs> it's just like, eh, just chilling. It must be so uncomfortable. You know. Got a smoke? Talk what? That's so weird. A talking pig who smokes. Thanks. Yeah. Couple thousand Name more Colin. of these. We'll be even on that house you owe me. This has got to stop. You can't keep sneaking off the farm like this. The fresh air and sunshine pitch they sell you on is bullshit. I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Big B. You don't know what it's like, okay? You haven't been there. Calm down. I'm not sending you back. Yeah, I'm being nice. I'm a nice dude. You know? That for me? Nope. <laughs> the house didn't blow itself down, Bigby. That's all I'm saying. Do with that what you will. Now, I'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but, uh... It would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes? It also would have shown everyone how different you are now. Oh yeah, really? If that was all you were saying, I'd be able to get some rest. I take it all back. This is why everyone hates you. Well, no. Sorry. We can play it really quietly, but... It is better to be feared than loved. You know who said that? Yeah, some sad asshole. <laughs> Eating yeah, alone. Pretty much. But uh no. Um hate's the wrong word. They fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. I can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories either. Look, I'm not saying it's fair, but it's real. People are scared of you. I mean, look at your hands. 
Ah, oh, thanks. Who'd you get in a fight with? Cheers, mate. A fable, right? I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. I was doing my job. My job, believe it or not. My job, mate. Your job is to beat the shit out of fables. Sometimes I take them to the farm. Fuck you. <laughs> Pretty brutal. I think my job is easy. <coughs> you try keeping a bunch of fables from killing each other. How do you think this all works? I don't know. How? By being big and being bad. By being big and being bad. Don't say that shit in front of people. It's embarrassing. That's what well, my knuckles pretty fucked up though. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. Mm, not everyone. Name one. It was good, you know. I actually know her name. Awesome. Great example. Loving that dancing us. Loving that dancing. Life is easier with friends, Bigby. And we live a long fucking time. Oh yeah. I know you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself. Good fear, I don't care. I've seen the way you look at snow, okay? What? You're not fooling me. Will you shut up? Well, oh, well. maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep talking. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Just give sense. me a drink, please. Colin, enough already. So, um, what's it called? I just literally did this video. It was really funny. I want to get in two seconds I'll uh, go check it out on my channel when it comes out tomorrow. Give you this. It's really, really funny. Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. Okay. I should really gave Colin a drink. Nice. Do you want to hit the alternative name for Ryan? What? What would you call? You're fucking with me. Hilarious. What do you think the alternative name for Barry is? A deer. No, the violent cuddle man. Um, what do you think the alternative name for Tom is? A dick. I hate you. Um, Same thing, right? So I'm just talking to my friend here. Anyway, I should have uh, gave him a drink. Colin a drink, you know. What about Sesame? Or Sesame? Sesame's a dick, so <gasps> fuck you. Okay. It's open. Looks so weird. Is me that girl? I'm guessing it's gonna be a girl, something. Maybe a beast. Big B. Snow. Come with me. Or not? I was both wrong. Yay. Snow. Snow. What? Sorry, I'm. What is it? What happened? I just can't get into it this second. We need to hurry to... Hi. Hello. Good morning. Or evening. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Suspicious. Much. These walls are paper thin. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. I have no clue what's happening. <laughs> Super weird. Is that somebody laying on the floor? Well, okay. What's happened here? Okay. That's you fucked up. Knew this girl? Is she's not a Mundy, right? Who was she? I thought I knew everyone in Fable Town. She looks familiar. 
Just a girl. We didn't have a whole lot of time to chat. The woodsman. He attacked her and I stepped in. And he threatened to kill us both. No. You don't think he... I don't think anything yet. Lost. Give me a second. Okay, this is really weird. Terrible. Oh, I get that. So, who found her? I did. She was just like this. I didn't touch her. I grabbed Grimble's jacket to cover her with. Then, I came to get you right away. No one else. That is fucked. No. Big B. Did one of us do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. What are you doing? Have a look around. Fair enough. We don't have much time before people will be yeah. through here. It's all right. Watched all the other stuff. Hmm. Let's take a peek here. This is proper weird. What's in the mouth? What is? Okay, I'm starting to get used to the controls now. It's a ribbon. There's some kind of symbol here. Hmm. I I don't recognize it. Neither do I. Strange cut. What did this to her? Super weird. Could do something like that. Either something very okay. sharp, or something with magic attached to it. She was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed for us to find. What kind of monster would do this? This is super weird already. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is just so surreal. <sighs> um, what... what do you want to do next? We still investigate. Have time. I should keep investigating the area. Okay, good idea. Do -do -do -do. Okay. Come on. No. I don't get this. What to come on? Blood. Drops of blood. I'd say it's been here an hour, maybe. How would he know that? Super. No signs that it's been here long. <laughs> Fabric. Looks like yeah, I'm definitely getting used to the controls now. Tell me much. Pretty sick. Phone. <laughs> yep. Okay. Blood. Someone might have hopped so. a fence, got caught, and left the trail I found earlier. This is really oh. weird. Still wet. Sharp enough. Okay. Surprised the garbage men can even find their way here. Okay, let's go and investigate more then. Let's off. Let's get on our ways. 
Okay, let's, let's talk to her. What are you doing? <laughs> Let it be thorough. Just studying her, you know? Sure, just hurry up. We don't have much time. <laughs> Speaking some uh, bad man, mate. <laughs> no one shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Big this P, is do you fucking have any weird. Going on? This oh. is a message. This is a message. Yeah, it is a message. A message? I don't know, Big B. I get complaints at the office all the time, but just what about this makes you think that? Whoever did the this of the head. is exactly hiding it. The placement of the head, it's exact, purposeful. Yeah. She was placed here precisely for us to find. <laughs> all of us. You know, no, well, it's just the chat. Yes. I guess it's you're right. The killer oh, wants well. us to know what they've <laughs> done. Mm, probably not. Uh, it's like a... Let's just go. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting... Don't know yet. He needs to know. And he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. We should just wait, wait until we have more to tell him. You right know. now, all we know is a girl is dead. Telling do 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 do. I've got all the motivation. This is I really weird, though. I don't know. This. That sounds reasonable. But yeah. I don't know. I'll think about it. I just Kay. don't want him interfering. Well, how many uh, things is there? How many uh, episodes Crane's is there? Not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can I have find. No her clue how many episodes is. Take this back to Doctor Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. I don't want to touch that head. <laughs> Bit fucked up. <coughs> oh, is that another episode done or not? Nope. What are you blind? Why you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Yeah, no. It'd be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I work here. And what great work you do, sheriff. Hmm. That didn't feel very genuine. Oh, this guy's talking some smack. Fucker. You are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. What are these two do people doing? Do you understand me? Yes, she, you know, of course I Don't do. interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought I'll you the news you as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a My disaster. Fault. If anyone's to blame, it's me. You don't need to be yelling at her. Oh, your role in this is duly noted. Yes, let's talk about that. Sheriff, oh, you are the one talking some smack. The citizens of Fable Town. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Oh. Anything. Anything at all. Any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. Because right now, I have half a mind to fire the both of you. Yeah, her pen. Her... Was she, uh... Yeah. She was worried about a money situation. Well, Kay. this is just wonderful. Not only is a fable killed, but it was a fable hooker to boot. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Yeah, that would so, be pretty bad. Yes? Sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Don't bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. Well, he's very subtle. Do your job, Sheriff. Or we'll find someone who can. Yeah, he's very subtle. You would have just pissed him off more. All right. Well, that could have gone better. Well... I guess I should have listened to you and waited. Wasn't gonna say I told you so. You don't have to say it. 
It would have been better to have more to offer. Get our ducks in a row. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and... Never mind. Smoke away. Oh, I'll do what I want. What an asshole. Yep. That was about an eight on the asshole scale. Asshole scale? Well, that doesn't sound right. I'll do what the fuck is, what I want. Is he gone? Yes, thankfully. Buffkin! Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. Wow. Pretty subtle, you know. How are you today, Mr. Bigby? <laughs> Fine, Buffy. Mm, Fine. Thanks for asking. Be a nice guy, yeah. Get Be mean. Books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. Not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. He knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. We'll okay. at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buff can find them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror Let's can... Speed run this shit. I really have to get this appointment squared away. Oh, yeah. Let me know if you need anything. Okay. Hi, this is Snow White. Magic lamps are pretty much just lamps. After the genie's been freed. Okay. Yes, that's right. So you touch it. Worth a try. Yes. Would have been sick if that worked. Get some three wishes, you know. Hey, hmm. magic mirror. I got a question. Well, let me talk to this. You know the rule. I don't have time for this shit. Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel, but have some respect for our history and rules. <sighs> Great, some riddles. Mirror. I love me some uh, able, some mirrors. Tell me all about this fable. See, was that so hard? Yeah, I'm about two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. There's no need for that. <laughs> Fine. Oh. Of which fable do you yeah, wish brutal to know? is. Uh. Um. I don't know her name. Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do, I can't help you. Well, that's very nice of you. Show me Snow White. Not much of a request. She's in this very room. Show me Buffkin. Hey, a put down the bottle and get to work. <laughs> Still looking. <laughs> no, pretty funny. Show me the woodsman. Where is he? What you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down the street. No oh, shit. Which well, that's, that's helpful. I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. Nobody right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else. Or someone new. Go on, Lego. I'm sure we'll get it all got, Just got shot out of the sky. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So he's doing some squats. You know, reading a book and doing squats. Go on, let's go and investigate some random ass shit. Oh. Okay. Look at this. Look at the book. <coughs> Bless you. Oh, great. 
What? I can't read any of this shit. I can help. Yeah, thanks. We yeah, look for each other. Don't overdo it. Buffkin, Buffkin, I think his name is. Hmm, an design from the good china of Toad Hall. Mr. Toad? He probably wrote this in himself. Okay. If you want to. We'll start with these. Any information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books. <laughs> Chicken dipper guy. Okay. Colin and his brothers. If you want to. Seen this before. Don't I need to. This need to. Man's clothes. It's the same as the rings. Could be her father mm. or husband. This has most of the emblems of the old days and usually what family they come from. If it's in here, we'll have her name. I can ban you. Yeah, that really works. It no, it doesn't. Can't, so you can't get banned from your own Twitch channel. Cool. Well, that won't be very nice. Yeah. Yeah, you better not do that. That's why there's no sleepovers there. Can I go out? No. What am I meant to, what am I meant to be doing here? Okay. Oh. Ship. Okay, I have no clue what I'm going to be doing. Strength. I guess it comes in all forms. <laughs> <coughs> okay. I love the game art though for this. Game. <laughs> Not gay, game. Well, shame. Okay. So have I missed anything in here then? Hi, buddy. The woodsman? Yep. And his axe. Yeah, the two of them. Wonder what the story was. Beauty and happier days. Nice hat. I haven't seen Badger around for a while. He likes his privacy, I think. I wish Toad would like his a bit more. I have no clue what I'm gonna be doing here. Ichabod Crane. Scared shitless. Your boss. His finest moment. Hard to understand how he ended up running this place. Well, maybe it's time that changed. So. Anything working? Yeah, dwarves. What I said about the better. Yeah, that's me. Back when. Uh, long time ago. <laughs> Haven't seen him in a while. Well, that's how you looked when we met, remember? Yeah, I remember. What is that? Yep. Yeah. And then let's try and find something else in there then. Let's see if there's anything else in there. Hmm. 
This looks familiar. Yes, from the Acts of the Woodsman, a druid blessing, actually. Bless that thing. I only translate. Oh, go back. You see the horse. Or a donkey, What's whatever. It says brickle bit in an older elvish hand. What's brickle bit? A magic word. What's it do? It makes animals shit gold. Well, okay. Okay. So you saw that. Where is this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Ah, found family it. name? Alerlairau? I'll go look it up. Alerlairau. That means every kind of fur in German. Donkey skin. Yes. What does it say? <sighs> donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin. <laughs> also known as <laughs> ass skin. <laughs> ah, okay. By the name Faith. Poetic? Buffkin, we don't need the commentary. The story of Donkey Skin. Been ten there minutes on this bit. Great king with it's a great. queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was uh, his daughter, Faith. She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. Wow. So sad. Should I mark it, Miss Snow? Yes. Please. And what's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. We got what we came for. Yeah. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than her we... name was Faith. Yeah. Wow. You should talk to the husband. You think he did it? Mm. Well, I know well, I've made the first why, but apparently prince. didn't work. I don't trust any of them at this point. Okay, what am I going to be doing here then? Ah, I know what I'm going to be doing. Surely there should be a new name now. Mirror, mirror, blah, blah, able, blah, blah, blah about this fable. Of which fable do you wish to know? <laughs> faith. Show me. Show me faith. Through powerful magic, her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. What? These lips are sealed. It's not my choice of phrasing. <coughs> it's simply the way it has to be. Good job. Bless you. Show me Faith's father, the old king. That's brutal. I guess that crosses him off the suspect list. He's a prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. What's he been doing? Where is this? Well, Where's okay. what? Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. Let go. Nobody right now. Anything we can use? Yeah, that'll have to do for now. Come on, we're going over there. Well, he had some very big suspicions. Sorry, I have to get that. Hello, Woodland's business office. Yes, I... He is. Hold on. Bigby, it's for you. Bigby, it's me, Toad. You there? 
What do you want? Big, big shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get over here, big, big, before he. Oh, wait, hang on. Okay. Boy, shit. Hey! What was that about? Hard to say. Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. And we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. Whenever you're ready. Well, let's go then. Let's go on our ways. Did Toad say who was there? Was it the woodsman? I don't know. It's possible. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, he didn't see him. He could use some help, too. Well, where to first? Big, big shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. Toad sounds like he needs help right now. We can check in on Shut so up. I'm not a toad, you are. Okay. I'm not looking forward to breaking the news to you okay. anyway. Yeah, I feel like Toad needs more help at the minute. Thanks for that. And we ended up going out the window and I landed on Toad's car. You guys made a real mess. Yeah. It looks worse in the day. Is somebody up there? Hey! Always on the run. Here. I'm just gonna get pushed, aren't I? I'm sorry! That's enough, alright? Just shut it! I don't even remember half of this shit. Let's go out. See what's happening out there. Spin me right round, baby, right round. Come on. Is that his son? Toads, I think. Be nice in there, okay? I'm always nice. I'm always nice. Big B and Miss White. Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. Okay, what's happening in there? Sorry, Big B. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh. I thought it was someone else in Woody's place. There wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. <laughs> Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. So, you know, false alarm. Sorry for dragging Miss White into this. There was someone, but they took off when we got here. Is that right? I guess your dad's ears have a year or two left. Haven't gone totally to the dogs, eh? Something suspicious is happening, you know? Are you all right? Oh, he's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than Walker, just like his dad. Wanna? So, I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here anymore. I mean, I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. 
but it was nothing, really. I'll leave when I'm ready, Toad. I just want to check things out first. The longer you talk, the longer this takes. So just stand over oh. there and shut up. All right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time, is all. I have a seat. Have a cup of tea. Whatever you like. Whew. Grown-ups. Am I right? Uh... Hey, you know what? Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection. I'd really love to see it. Is it in your room? Seems pretty awkward. It has a weevil. Cool. Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. Okay. Let's lock There's around a bit, you know. Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off the table. Uh-huh. The lamp just fell off the table. Well, the boy was faffing about, playing sods and swordfish. Who knows with the lad? Okay. What's happening over here? Wait, stop. No, I don't want to go up there. Move something? What do you mean? There's a clean space in the dust over here. Ah, uh, maybe one of Junior's toys or something? I mean, who knows? Hmm? No. Well, I thought... Surely they'll be on. Yeah, um... I did not see that. Yeah, surely. Don't kiss me, weirdo. Sure. No, don't. If you Leave me alone. Say something out with it. Um... What kind of toy was it? Lord, if I know. Baby, he has so many worthless bubbles. It's hard in something. There's some marks here on the windowsill. But like I said, Junior leaves his toys around all the time. These don't look like they're from a toy. Oh, he lied. Well, just last night when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. And I plum forgot the keys to this place. And I had to climb in through the bloody window. Really? Scared Junior off to death. Hmm. I think something's happening over here. yourself coming in the window why is that it's blood still fresh oh well i cut me end <laughs> ran around like a tit trying to pick out a wrap must have got some on the furnishments sounds painful oi don't you go mother ending now the wound didn't sit very long you know hooks have been a babel i suppose <laughs> and a frog Yeah, it's an awful mess. Forgot where I kept my uh, first aid. Look, you want me out of here? I want out. <laughs> Just come clean. What's going on? Place needs a little brooming. That's all. Though most people think they are. Uh huh. How's it going? Toad's hiding something, but I don't know what yet. Did the kid say anything? No, nothing really. He was okay. really upset, though, earlier. He won't say why. Hmm. Something's going on. Stay with the kid until you figure out why. That's fine. Is 
So, okay, I'm missing something then. Oh. Miss this. There's more blood over here. On the poker? Yeah. What happened? Oh, well, that's... That's how it happened, didn't it? I was... I was poking the coals and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. Looked like a shit ugly thing. Okay, Sheriff. Now what? Wait. You dropped it on your foot? You told me before that you cut your hand. Yeah, no. I, I did cut my hand. I cut my hand first. And that made me drop the damn thing on my foot. <laughs> uh, ruinous flip of events, really. Sure. You're lying. This bitch is lying. Oh my god, will you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? I mean, things happen, you know. No crime in a little accident. This apartment's a goddamn mess, Toad. Looks like after a struggle or a fight and I don't know why you cover for it but I know you're lying about something but I'm not and you're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act I'm not bullshitting you honest we'll see oh damn Okay, so nothing here. Should I, can I just go out? Wait, let me up. It's gonna be the same Never text. Good with the feminine duties. Home body stuff with my clumsy ends. Just tell me what's going on. Okay, come on. Why is the lock busted? Eh? The lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. And this doesn't have anything to do with the blood. Oh, for Christ's sake, the fucking lock's been busted for weeks, mate. Right, it's just like everything else in this bloody building. Okay. Busted. Toad. Come on, what's the story here? The story, Sheriff, is that this place is falling to crackers. Everything's broken and rotten and bad. Where do you think that smell Not comes dear. from? Can't buy that bit of loveliness spray, can you? Big B, come on, I'm begging for mercy over here, old boy. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon, just me and my son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this, the sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry I called, really I am. But will you please, please just bugger off? Not yet. Not yet? No one fought anyone, Big B. There wasn't any scrap. So when? When are you gonna leave? I mean, I feel like I'm on trial here. In my own bloody home. It's not seemly. When? When you start telling me the truth, Toad. Well, I've told you the truth, mate. Jesus Christ, what more do you want? Toad, these stories have made no sense. <laughs> you didn't cut yourself on the poker. Correct. You want to tell me what's going on? She doesn't think much of me, I don't think. Oh, I wouldn't necessarily say that. Progress? Ooh. Mr. Toad, you're bleeding. Take off the hat. <gasps> Damn. It was that butcher, a, a tweedle, dumb or dee. You gotta strip them down to their johnnies before you can tell which is which. They come bulging in, screaming about something a woodsman ain't. <coughs> what he ain't, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. 
I tried to go out the window, but he pulled me back in. <sighs> it's been a hard morning, I could tell you that. What was, what was he looking for me? then? I have no idea. I would have told you. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I even tried to give a bastard a coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. Uh, sometimes? Borrows? I don't steal nothing. Turn around here would astonish you, mate. We'll merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. <sighs> Fetch him the fur. Oh, nice fur I'm coat, eh? That's weird. No, I wouldn't wear it outside. Wait. It's an envelope. Fuck oh, a note. Series. My luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. Do you want to try and give it to him, or...? Don't make it a dilemma. Let's open it. See what's in it. I'm sorry, Faith. What could she have been sorry for? I don't know. But maybe Lawrence does. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. <laughs> It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, see ya. Oh, are you nervous? Thanks for that. So weird. Does it always go that smoothly? Not often. So, the prince is now? Lawrence's, yeah. It's our best lead. Oh god, yeah. Our only lead, really. Did we have a good map play? It did. You actually killed me! So. Anyway. Okay. I'm gonna be right back. I'm just gonna get a drink and some G fuel. So I'll be right back.
Okay, back. I'm back, back, I don't back, stay here back long, again. Have to, so let's just pick an approach and stick to it, okay? Just humor me. And the magic mirror showed me this apartment. I think I saw the ankles covered in what looked like blood. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. Well, like I said, let's go some coffee. So you know. Question him while I look around for it. Yeah, very, very nice. Jets. We are here on official Fable Town business, and we can be persuasive if necessary, or you can. Okay, let's let go. Wait, move around that. Can you hear me? Well, there's definitely Just blood on that. Keep into someone's house. Check if he's home. Well, that can't be good. <coughs> well, okay. This is very weird. Oh my god. Go get Dr. Swinehart. I'll stay with you. No, him. no. Let me go. She. What is it that you're telling us? Bigby, water, kitchen. We're okay. Where the hell's water? There's a kitchen. I have no clue where the kitchen is. I'm not talking to you, Josh. Ah, there we go. Camera angle was blocking it. You know what, let's look inside here. Well, maybe not. Did you find it yet? Yeah, I'm coming. Calm down. Pipe down, mate. If you have something to ask him, you should do it now. Is this about faith? Okay. Well, he did. He did as hell. He did as hell. Do you still have that letter? Yes. Only two words, but he died without seeing them. I'm sorry. We need to figure out what happened here and find whoever did this. He's got more letters. Okay. Sharp. There's blood on the blade. Is that the same knife you saw in the mirror? Yeah. I don't know why it's over here. I just don't understand. Why would someone want to kill him? Well, he did it to himself, eh? 
Thank you, my noggin. Okay. This game is very weird. Strange. Wav. Hard edge to this. Yeah. Place, like something was here and got moved. <laughs> Wait, is that a bed or a door? Still a little sticky. Oh, great, now I've got hiccups. Yeah, that must be like a... Yeah, bed. Thought so. Oh, that's very nice. Let's now get him, get my energy back, you know. Stuck to the bed a little, which is fun. My dearest faith, I because I've still got a long you, time to go. I cannot endure knowing that I have. This was for the best. I'll see you again. Love your devoted Lawrence. Okay, let's even do that. Okay, so I'm just going to see if it tells me how uh, Well, that was awkward. Um, you know what, let's just carry on. Hopefully they're together now. So, quarter past two in the morning. Oh, <sighs> very very late. Thanks. No, I really appreciate that. <laughs> Come on. When do you think that was taken? Before all this. <laughs> you know that's pretty subtle. Very unusual. Okay. No. Was that good or bad? Huh? Yeah. Tell me about it. Wasn't fired recently. Maybe a week ago. It got some good sense of smell. Fingerprints? They'll be on the grip and the trigger. Matches the caliber of the gun on the floor. Well, okay then. Super weird this is. And he's took some pills, you know, obviously. What are they? Prescription sleeping pills. That doesn't really help. Look 
Okay, so I don't know what to do here. Oh, found something to do. Secondhand paperbacks. Old encyclopedias. I think you don't have to money paperbacks. Dusty. No one's read these in a while. My friend's having some funny uh, conversation, you know? Where does everyone? Holy shit, that scared Stay the fuck here. out of me. Oh. No. Holy shit. Did not expect that. Hey! Stop! <laughs> Leave me alone! Well I fucked that up. <laughs> Go! Use my dents. Oh! Oh, he kicked me right in the face. Well, I pressed the wrong one. Great. He is fucking fat as fuck if you make that much noise. Okay. Ease up, Bibby. We're on the same side here. You son of a bitch. Make me run after you. Who are you? What? Who are you? Listen, man. I'm a private investigator. Hmm. A man's Interesting. Dead. I know how it looks, but I had nothing to do with that. And who did? Look, I was just asking him about the girl. That's all. When I mentioned her being dead, he freaked out. I figured someone had told him. How was I supposed to know? Shit. Fucker shot himself right in front of me. I couldn't stop him, man. You're looking for the woodsman, right? I know where he is. My guy says he's holed up at the trip trap. We can go over there right now, the both of us. My employer's looking to ask him a few questions, too. Who's, Who's your boss? Employer? I can't tell you that. It's confidential. Sorry. Sure you understand. Nope. Can't say that I do. Come on. You're coming with me. This could have been easy. Ah, don't worry. It still is. Come on. Dumb. Dumb? Yeah, it is. Look, it'd be much easier for you no, to... No, I'm D. He's dumb. <gasps> oh, got punched right in the back of the head. Damn. You almost looked peaceful. Oh well. Yep. Yeah, you've told me it's like. Except you're lying in a dirty. Yeah. Yeah. With an open wound on the back of your head. Yeah. I don't know why I asked well, that. I already knew that. One guy hit you, then the other one started kicking you. Sprains the ribs. Then they jumped into a car and drove off. Come on, get up. Well, thanks for that, you know. Options. He mentioned the trip trap. Then that's where we'll go. I'll call a cab. <laughs> I want to search you up how many episodes there is. Every time I think I'm getting a handle on what's going on, things just get more complicated. I know there's a lot of them. It feels like we're always a step behind. Those episodes the woodsman is the only lead we've got. 
and he was one of the last people to see Faith alive. Getting some answers out of him will start to clear things up. I hope you're right. Bigby? Be honest with me. Who do you think... Okay. So, it's around five I know it's still episodes early, in the first one. I just feel a step behind. The woodsman. He had the, <sighs> he had the means. You sound so sure that he's guilty. He's dangerous. At this point, I'm smashing a glass on that guy's head and dragging him out of there. We'll figure out the rest later. This side of you scares me sometimes. <laughs> well, at least she agrees. Thanks I for wish you. there was. <laughs> awkward. Super Sorry. awkward eyes. Go ahead. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, it's. It's nothing. I just. That's very awkward. Seeing all this today, there are fables that are mm. struggling worse than I'd imagined. We pay so much attention to the residents of the Woodlands. You forget there's a whole community out there to serve. To have to turn to... Prostitution. I... I wish there was more we could do. This isn't how I thought it would be. But Crane runs things his own way. You're doing your best. So I'm always be a nice guy, Obviously, you know. Obviously you don't know what I do no, all day. No, talk to this. Right now... I'm the gatekeeper, <laughs> making sure none of these disenfranchised folks are, as he puts it, wasting his time. You'll fix it. Determined to get to level 76 in this game. I don't know. Oh. It's just a broken system. The fables who walk in through the back door, like Bluebeard, we have all the time in the world for them. You try and come in through the front door, through the proper channels, asking for Oops, sorry, I actually point, punched the mic. I turn you away. Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Can't believe this. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. Maybe this isn't for me. I thought public service was pure. A way to help. You'll figure it out. You're better than I am with this political stuff. Well, that's not saying much. I trust you to make the right decision. I hope you're right. No, I'm always making the... Make, being the good guy, you know? Uh, maybe you should handle this one. Yeah. Maybe I should. Okay, damn. Bigby. I... Um, just be careful. Please. Oh, she's thinking about me. The same goes for you. No, always been a good guy, you know. Being kind. Oh, uh, shut up, Lewis. Okay. What do you want, Sheriff? I'm looking for the woodsman. Well, he's not here. So I guess you can go now. Look, 
I'm not even gonna ask where he is now, okay? I just want to know the last time he was here. That's all. Who? I'm being nice, so try again. He hasn't been here for a few weeks. Oh. No, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, he hasn't been here in a while, if he's been here at all, which... I don't know. She is being really weird. Does he tell you when to close? I don't know. Too? Nope. And he doesn't tell me when to tell you to fuck off. Okay, let's talk to him. Come on. Have you seen the woodsman around? I don't know who that is. Big guy, beard, flannel, kind of a shitbag. Hard to miss. Uh, you sure you don't know him? <laughs> oh, that goes with the guy. Well, okay. Don't lie to me. It'd be bad for everybody. Call me a liar, and no, it'll be bad no. for you. Okay. Let's look around a bit, you know? Let me solve the mystery for you. They're pickled eggs. Oh, I know what they are. I'm just trying to figure out why anyone would eat this. <laughs> you got any change for this thing? Nope. Wow. Pretty, uh, bitchy, you know. in this place if I sit over there I'm gonna have to yell to talk to you and I don't like raising my voice unless I really have to oh damn you're gonna order something or are you just here to bother my customers <laughs> you know what I mean <laughs> Give me a Midas gold. You want a lime? Sure, why not? Sure. I think they have some at the bar down the street. <laughs> think that's funny? Yep. Think it's fucking hilarious. It was all right. This is serious, Holly. Harboring a fugitive is going to get you in as much trouble as he's in. You could lose everything. Oh, damn. Oh, shit's about to go down. You're out of paper towels and the... Oh. Saved your beer for you. Holly wanted to clear it, but uh, I said no. You'll be back. Now here you are. <laughs> you know, a lot of it. Okay. Not well. sure I believe you. No, uh, being honest. You're in luck. I decided to switch seats. Oh. Look. You no, know, I'm being nice, you know. I'm trying to respect them. They respect me, you know. I've got questions. Shut the hell up, Joe. Maybe it was fucking ugly. Why don't we let him tell me that? Okay, Greg. It's 
funny. Just a minute ago, no one seemed to know who you were. Yeah, well, everyone knows you. Big bad wolf. <laughs> now I'm the bad guy and you're a sheriff. What kind of fucking world is that, huh? Come on, Woody. You know why I'm here. You want to know what happened? <laughs> Amongst other things, sure. <laughs> it's funny. The shit you're willing to do for money. I'd walk past her place for weeks. She didn't look like it. But she had money. It's getting interesting, this is, you know. She wouldn't put up any kind of fight. <laughs> I was gonna rob her. And the night I finally get up the nerve to do it, there you are. Fucking things up for me. You were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. I wasn't there to save her. So, you were planning on robbing her? Yeah. Her and her grandma. Grandma? Wait, what are you talking about? Red Riding Hood. Her grandmother. I was there to rob him. But when I showed up, you were already there. Lying in the bed. I only saved her because I thought she might give me a reward. But she didn't give me shit. Oh, so damn. A bunch of people thinking I'm something I ain't. I played along as long as I could. Too the only thing I to get from it was a free drink every now and again. <laughs> Not a good that did. Need to I'm dragging you back to the woodland. For what? Jesus, Bigby, that fucking I just wanted to, I just wanted to smack in that. Hey, stop! This isn't what I want! Oh, shut the fuck up, Woody! Shit ain't just about you. It's about this fucking lapdog. No sniffing around this part of town when the rich fucks in the woodlands need a shakedown. Ain't that right, Big B? Lapdog? Really? <laughs> sister goes missing. No one gives two shits about her. Paperwork, waiting rooms, and that bitch Snow White looking right past me, then ushering me out the fucking door. I wouldn't call her that. It's happened before, and it doesn't end well. I didn't realize you were the bitch of the bitch. Oh, I just punched that, that bitch. All you got? Seemed to be enough. Don't be so sure. Oh, good. Out of here when you had the chance. Come on, <coughs> you're scaring the lady. Don't worry about me. Oh. Where the fuck is it? I can't. I just got fucked. Oh, I just bitch slapped him. Okay. Oh. Get fucked up, I am. Get up. Oh. <laughs> 
fucking this kid up. He's had enough. Oh, I'm yeah, being a good guy, you know, walking away. This <laughs> fuck them. Whiskey. Double. Oh. <laughs> I guess it's sassy. You know, whiskey always helps. <laughs> Why not? All this never happened. Yeah. I'm good. Don't even think about it. Is this the type of treatment I can expect if I let you take me in? No. If you come quietly, you'll be treated with respect. But if it turns out that you killed that girl, well, you know what that means. Oh, no. Oh. All right. I got a hundred bucks for the first bloke that can tell me something about a girl name. Shit's about to go down. Okay, what we're we gonna do? Uh, yeah, let's go for him. You said you wouldn't hurt me. You said you wouldn't run. Guy's covered in blood and you let him go? No one asked you. Ah! Come on. You're under arrest. I didn't do it. And you got nothing to worry about. No, I've been subtle. Okay. Do 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 Anything stupid, and I'll throw you down the witching well myself. All right. <laughs> no, it's very subtle. Happened here. Shit's getting intense. Oh, Snow's head, eh? It's getting mixed up. We had something very special. Okay. Completed the first episode. Who else is involved? The girl with the coat. Serial killer. Oh, oh my. A serial killer? Oh god, and it's one of us. Oh. Wait, the big fat guy's still walking the streets. We've got to put a lid on this. If you can't manage it, I'll find someone who can. 
I found out where she's been staying. I know she's here. You must have seen her. What are the two of you hiding? Thanks. I'm not saying anything. It doesn't matter. Maybe you just want to punish someone. We can arrange that. Uh, what did you do? Friend on friend. At the end of the end. Oh, what's happening here then? So let's see, okay. Okay. Um so I was with new and fifty three other percent of players. Okay. Tall. I was uh pretty under that one. Where did you so Yeah. I thought that would be pretty high. Okay. Um, who's the prime suspect? Okay. Fair enough. Oh, wow, that's loud. Good deal. Can I skip this? Yeah. Okay. So I've done that. Oh, wait, go back. But how many episodes is there? Five. All okay. of them. There are a rebellion episodes. Okay, good for you, Josh. So it's 2.44 in the morning. It's very, very good. Do something, Big B, before he completely tears up the place. Whoa, 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 hey, hey! You got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid cunt? You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Please, Bigby. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. This is getting exciting. For trusting me. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Come with me. <laughs> Funny. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. <laughs> no, I'm D. He's dumb. <gasps> but he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill me. I'm looking for the woodsman. Well, he's not here. Ollie, you're out of paper towels and uh, they're gonna string me up, baby. Like you said, it looks fucking bad. It looks really bad, but I didn't do it. Ah! You said you wouldn't hurt me. You said you wouldn't run. Oh. Just fucking laugh, dog. Come sniffing around this place. The rich fucks in the woods need to shake down. Yeah, right, Big B. Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. Okay. Well, that was a quick back, back to episode one, that was. Whew. 
So, I don't know how long this episode's going to be. So how many episodes is there? Five. What's happening here? Mr. Wolf. <laughs> I got fucked. Oh, yes, I got played. You're making this more difficult than it has to be. Oh, I love this song. If you just cooperate and answer the questions, you can go home. Maybe get some sleep. How are you feeling? I know it's been a long night for you. You look like you could use some rest. I'm pissed off, you know. I'm fucking pissed off right now. If I'm honest, I'd like to smash everything in this room. Is that a threat? Depends on how much you like the furniture. Oh. I didn't think that was funny. In case you were waiting for me to laugh. Look. I know what you must be going through. Really, I do. But I could use your cooperation. You don't know anything. If you did, you wouldn't be sitting here talking to me. You'd be talking to the piece of shit that did this. Well, you stonewalling me like this isn't helping either of us, so why don't you cut the shit and... Trying to help Ooh. you, Bigby. Subtle. What is it with you cops? Always trying to empathize with people. I know this must be hard for you. Do you? Do you fucking know? Have you had a friend killed and their head left at your fucking doorstep? That's true. Yeah. No. Didn't think so. Oh, so yeah, this, uh, this I can't wait for this episode. It's gonna be pretty, pretty fun, I think, and intriguing. Oh, are you okay? Oh, you know I'm being nice. Shut up, Josh. Detective Brannigan. I'm Detective Brannigan. Uh, yeah. Okay. No, I just said that. Is there something? Oh. Please. Okay. Please. Oh, what is happening? I'm sorry. What the hell? Just make it stop, please. Well, that's weird. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> He's like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> we have to go now. What are you doing here? You should be thanking me. It's just a memory wipe spell. Okay. Very expensive, but it works. The whole station will forget the last 24 hours and everything they saw at the woodlands. Well, hurry up. You know, he's just so casual about it. Yeah, yeah. Shut up, Josh. Look at him. Oh, getting chills, you know. Sick, this is. Whew. Really hope I can make this, uh, all of this episodes. I like finish the game, you know. Even though it's 2.50 in the morning. Oh, well. We'll try and go through it. Because why the half not? <clears throat> I think I need more coffee. <laughs> uh, this doesn't change anything. Yeah, this why not? Change anything? Fine. <laughs> we uh, 
found the woodsman chained up to a post last night. That was your uh, go away. Card. Yeah. Okay. Well, thanks to you, there's been at least some hope in this whole dreadful affair. I'm confident he has some information about the slaves. Bluebeard's currently interrogating him. And he's already to the point of confession. Okay. Um, he was involved, definitely. That much we can tell from his Yeah, he's not that strong. He just must have had not some strong sort suspect. of accomplice. But you never, you never know. I'm not so sure about that. You don't think he's involved? He was with me whenever the... Uh, Whenever she was left at the stairs. Yes, but all that means is he didn't do it alone. Oh, damn! <laughs> damn! 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 Yeah, I definitely need I more coffee. I know you're thinking, Bigby. It's been one full night and a slice of morning. That kilos. I really miss her too. Seeds. Coffee definitely doesn't come in seeds. Okay, just, just yeah, go away. One of us dies. Now, for it to be snow, I've never been good with these sorts of things. Mm. I just can't believe this is really happening. Yeah, it's hard. Yeah, it's hard. I love these types of games where you choose what, you know. Our story. Choose what you. So simple. We had a good few of us. Middle and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Okay. Wonder. I'm pretty sure there's only five episodes, but I'm not sure. Did she um, give any indication to what she was thinking? You saw I'm her not last, I mean. too sure. I don't know why, but I'd like to know that she was. I guess fine. I suppose. Yeah. She gave an indication. She was pissed at you. I say that she was pissed <laughs> at you. At me, you know, subtle. Was frustrated with the whole fucking system, tired of having to turn fables away. It wore it down. Yeah, that was true. That was very, very true. I don't know what else to say, Big B. We have to have to put an end to this. It's been two murders in as many days. If we don't unearth our culprit, and there will likely be another on our doorstep tonight. Oh, that wouldn't God. be very good. Please, Big B, for Miss White. I got it. Oh, he's strong as fuck. I'll be pissed at him if he did that to my car. Get the fuck out of here! As I came down the valley. So, I think. Wait, is there five episodes in. One episode? No, that doesn't make sense. What you do? Okay, that's a bit. Okay. 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 He will tell us eventually who killed Snow White. Where? We have too many methods to inspire. Bluebeard, I told you not to touch him until we returned. I didn't. Well, barely. And yet you saw fit to retrieve it. Hard to These two are so weird. Yet. Hello, Sheriff. Come to help? Because I think I have a secure handle on things. Yeah, help. Good. Yeah. I didn't think you'd have any objections, of course. To no, I was going to take you by myself. With your history. But Toaster? People I don't know. You. The sheriff is here to carry out the rest of the interrogation. Oh, really? You're trying to make toasties. Let me tell Fuck off. Story. I can tell it all. About the mountain boy who ran illegal alcohol. <sighs> Woody. That you, Bigby? I didn't kill that girl, I don't have a thing to tell you, so get me the fuck out of these. What's traps. happened to his nose? I'm it's pretty sure it was all bloodied up and like bruised and You'll need it later. everything. We're gonna, all right, but we have to have a little chat. But not anymore. First. Snow White is dead. I'll tell you what I already told this blue dandy. I didn't kill anybody. 
I, I can't tell you anything. You can't or you won't. Look, I got questions and I know you have answers. Whether or not they're the answers I want, well, I guess we'll find out. Back Why did you run? Yeah. Why'd you run? Look, I got nothing to say, so just, just let me go. Well, that's gonna happen. <laughs> just let me go. Do you see now what I've been dealing with? What are you going to do about this? I'll take care of it. What are you planning to do exactly? Punch him. Don't forget what we talked about. What did you tell her? We must do whatever it takes. To you know, just talk. Killer. You know, I'm gonna play just it nice. Wanna talk. See what he knows. Oh, give me a break. We need answers, Bigby. Yeah, I'm Though playing it nice. Up to you, of course. Okay. Woodsman, you've got to oh. talk to me because Crane I want to make it understanding for him, you know. Shit. Think I don't know what that feels like to be the bad guy? To know you're just trying your fucking best and to still get shit on day and night. Oh. Yeah, I know you do, Wolf. You want to tell me why you ran now? I don't know what to tell you. I ran because I didn't want trouble. I didn't kill that girl. I have no damn clue what's going on. You told me he was at the point of confession. He was. He <laughs> is. He said Snow wasn't even supposed to be there. Now what do you exactly take that for? He knows what's happening. All right, that's something. Did you say that, Woody? Where are you talking about? Where was oh. she supposed to be? Is he going to supposed to happen? Going to speak? She was nothing. Nothing was supposed to happen. It's my own shit, all right? Just forget it. Ooh. Where's where's my stuff? I want to smoke. You, you took my smokes. We uh, confiscated his belongings for the time being. This was all we could find on him in any case. Nothing exceptional to speak of. Much like the man himself, I'd say. Okay. Very nice. I didn't do nothing for fuck's sakes. Let's go on. Pretty disturbing, that is. What's that? You want to know what this is? Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Take a good fucking look. Take a good long look. Pretty brutal, that is. Get into your fucking memory. I told you, I have no goddamn clue about what's going on. I didn't have nothing to do with it. Tell me what you meant by Snow wasn't supposed to be there. You've got it all wrong. I, I can't. Just leave it alone. I don't want to talk about it. Just a waste of fucking time. Snow wasn't supposed to be where? Where was she supposed to be? I didn't, I didn't say Snow, okay? I never said that. Yes, you did. She wasn't supposed to Ooh, even be there. Got she got talking, it. eh? Snow. Come on. I don't know gonna, fucking anything about shit. Snow. Okay, that's something. You weren't talking about Snow, but who did you mean? Who wasn't supposed to be there? I, I can't get into it. Okay, my friend's just crawling across the floor. Being a weirdo. Can we move this along? No, I'm gonna punch him. Assistant. Loosen these, will ya? I ain't going nowhere. Come yeah, on, why not? And they're cutting off circulation. Loosen straps. <sighs> oh. You know, gonna be nice. Don't you wanna find out what happened to those girls? To Snow White? Let me handle this. Oh. Just shut that kid down. Woody, who wasn't supposed to be there? A girl. Which girl? I can't. Oh. Just, just let me go. Please. Just tell me. We're so just close, tell me. Woody. Just tell us the rest. What's going on? The girl. It was... Faith, alright? Faith. 
fake. Oh, this is about got that. Me. Got that guy talking. I was expecting someone else, and this girl I didn't even know shows up. Who were you expecting? I, uh, I don't know. Talk now. No one's behind anything. This, oh. I can't get into it. It's my Holy own shit personal talking. shit. So fuck off. Okay. I. I just nick one of his cigarettes. <laughs> Bitch. This is really. What's the point of this? Yeah, I'm being nice. Playing the good guy. That's how I got him talking before. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Do it again. Thanks. Who were you expecting? Lily. Lily? Who's Lily? So yeah, I got him talking. Holly's sister. Holly. Bartender from the trip trap. Her sister's yeah. her sister's a prostitute. Oh damn. I was a regular of hers, okay? I paid, she did her thing, and that was it. Oh. When Faith came to the door, it just set me off. Lily usually comped me if I didn't have cash. Faith didn't want to give me a break. Just please don't don't tell anyone, baby. Grin and her. That whole bar, they just... They wouldn't understand. I got this guy talking. Well, congratulations, Sheriff. We've been here for God knows how long, and what do we have to show for it? A thorough retelling of the woodsman's sexual misadventures. This barbarian knows more than he's letting on. You can't continue to treat him like some stupid American waif. I really think it's going the best that it can. And you have no imagination, I'm sorry Stay to say. Stay out of this, bitch. I was under the impression you were just here to watch. I am here to find Snow White's killer. And seeing how much you've embarrassed yourself, I'm glad for her sake that I am. Snow White is dead. What one of done? us. And you're going to let this done? ignorant shit walk out of here in one piece. Out of my way. I'll show you how it's done. You haven't done anything. What do you think you're doing? Teaching him a lesson. Pay attention. Stop oh. this right now! Snow White is dead. She was one of us, not one Get out! Of them. You need to leave <laughs> now. <laughs> oh, well, I punched one. Stop. Oh, go away. What the hell? What the hell? What? Well, this just turned... That just turned very weird. You know, plot twist, you know? Josh, go away. That was a pretty big plot twist, you know? Damn. Skip this, come on. The Wolf Among Us. Okay, seriously. Come on, go. <laughs> Don't really care. Sort of wanna carry on. <laughs> Episode two. Oh. Okay. Is this guy still sleeping? <laughs> what the hell was going on down there, Bigby? Using a prisoner like that. I thought you could control yourself. No, I thought you were dead. I thought you were dead, Snow. And that makes it okay? Well, I wasn't technically punching. You know. I was being nice. I 
hope it was worth your time. Okay, yeah, how are you not done? You're gonna have to explain this, because I'm really not getting it yet. <laughs> After our conversation in the taxi last night, I got a call from Toad. He said his son found the body. We thought it was Faith at the time. Getting her back here wasn't easy. But hopefully we'll find something on her to help us track down the killer. I'm glad you took care of things. Thanks. Oh, I'm being nice. Yeah. Always being nice. Oh, so slipped off my chair. What is it? Are, are you going to be okay? I mean, uh, with all that's happened. I'll be fine. I just want to get to the bottom of this. I just feel like... What is it? I just... I feel responsible in a way. She looked just like me. And maybe yeah. that's why she was killed. That was fucking weird. If someone wants you dead, at some point they'll realize they missed their target. And they'll come looking for me. We just have to find out. Now be careful. Us. And why she was glamoured to look like me. I mean, that's what it is, right? So, what's our next move? We just keep doing what we've been doing. <sighs> we do our jobs. And I'm supposed to do what? Sit around the business office twiddling my thumbs? Waiting for the big bad wolf to solve all my problems? Yeah, that's, that's not what I mean. What I meant. Well, then what did you mean? I told you I'm tired of sitting around. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once. I'm and... not yours to lose. Oh, damn. She pissed off. I'm sorry. I know it's dangerous, but I'm not helpless. I can take care of myself. I've been doing it for centuries. TJ is waiting inside. He was so freaked out last night, he wouldn't tell us much. E even now, he just stops talking altogether after a certain point. Oh, He's pretty damn. shaken up, though. So try not to be too... Damn. You know. I can handle the kid. Okay. Oh. Yeah, you know, be nice. Always be nice. Always be nice. Okay, I got some fucked up lines on my forehead, okay. you know. I don't know if you want to talk to him first or after, but let me know when you're ready to see the body. I, I want to be there. Buffkin, do you have a second? Of course, Miss Snow. Yeah, let's talk to him first. Oh, that's enough. Mira, vanish! Cancel! What the hell are you doing? Oh. What? I wasn't touching nothing. What's going on? Don't worry, no harm done. You're on thin ice, Toad. Don't <sighs> test me. Don't yeah, I'm being up. strict, but nice. Deal. TJ. It's alright. Are you ready to talk to Mr. Wolf? Oh, it's so cute. Look at those fucked up lines on my face, though. It's okay. Are you... You okay? Okay. Go ahead, TJ. I go swimming at night sometimes, in the river. I wasn't doing anything bad, I promise. Of course you weren't. We know you're a good kid, TJ. You're not in trouble. Just tell me what happened. Yeah. I was there, under the big blocks, and I heard noisy feet. And when I hear that, I'm supposed to go underwater and stay real still and quiet. That's right, son. Then I saw... 
I... I saw the lady. It's okay, sir. Yeah, I'm being nice here. Careful, Big B. I wasn't. I know. Oh. The lady fell in, but but she didn't have her head on. I thought I, I thought she was gonna pull me down too. What the hell? That's been pretty weird. She had rocks on her feet, and she kept falling down in the dark part. <laughs> Cinder blocks tied to her ankles. Is there more, TJ? Is it true? You know when people are lying? I heard you could do that. That's why you're the sheriff. Please tell the truth. Is there something else? Please, don't be mad. What is it, TJ? I... I didn't stay under the water. What? I know I'm supposed to, but I was scared, and, and I went to the top again. I couldn't help it. I gave you very specific rules. You have to stay quiet and out of sight or bad things can happen. I told you. You're not in trouble. Like Ellie's not. Not this time, Toad. Oh. So you didn't stay underwater? I don't know if anyone saw me, but, but someone said, stop laughing. And then I was scared, That's and I went under weird. for as long as I could. Wait, you heard someone? Yes. Why didn't you tell us before? Were those the same words they used? Stop laughing? Try to remember exactly what they said. Choo-choo. They said, they said, stop laughing at me. Go away. <laughs> um... Did you hear anyone laughing? See, this is really no. weird now. <laughs> Sheriff. Okay, TJ. I'm sorry. After I came up again, there was no one there. And I ran home, that's all. I promise. I want to go home. Okay, you can go. <laughs> No, I'm being nice. Thank you, TJ. Okay, son. You did a good job, kid. Come on, then. Seriously, those lines on the forehead is fucked up. <laughs> that went about as well as I expected. <laughs> yeah, all my cheese. You want to go look at the body now? That needs to be a meme. Yeah. Come on. I need to see the body. Oh my goodness. I almost forgot. Okay. Oh, go away. <laughs> Oh. Okay, this is really weird over here. I must admit, I do love the game art for this. It's sick. This must be really disturbing for the... for Snow. Exactly the, exactly the same person, more or less. It's weird. I didn't realize I've never seen her face before now. You're gonna be okay. You don't have to stay. I want to stay. Oh, I'll be fine. Damn. It's just a little strange. The glamour is so effective, it's invasive. But just do what you need to do. That's weird. I don't wear a brooch like that. Maybe it really belonged to her. Not part of the glamour. Looks like something from the homelands. Buffkin, wow. do you recognize these wow. symbols? Wow. No, nothing wow. I've seen before. Looks just okay. like Faith's dead. 
Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faye? No. He said he wanted to run more tests. If the neck wound was the same, there might be a ribbon in her mouth, too. Anything? Nothing. So, it's not exactly the same. This is really fucked up. Close her mouth. Thanks. She got your perfume right. How would she know? How do you know what perfume I wear? You can't fool this nose. <laughs> do you see that? Could be a bruise. Well, okay then. No. Track marks. She used Monday drugs. Looks that way. Pretty heavily too. I hear they only go for the legs if they've used up the veins in their arms, or if they're trying to hide the marks. Anyway, Ooh. means it's not a perfect match to your leg, unless. Don't be ridiculous. Maybe she was trying to compensate with that perfume. Wait. If the glamour is supposed to make her look like me, shouldn't it be concealing things like track marks? That brooch, too. Why would it change everything else? I've never seen one this sloppy. It's possible it's designed not to. Designed not to hide track yeah. marks. Yeah. be. The witches upstairs I don't know. know what they're doing. That's why they cost so much. Unless someone is making glamours illegally? <laughs> it's not technically illegal, miss. It's not encouraged, for sure, but there aren't any laws specifically forbidding it. So there's some sort of black market well, for glamours? One would assume so. I imagine anyone with access to the proper books and training could theoretically produce a glamour. Fun's just laughing at a really one. weird thing. Black market or not, it's a pretty good match. Look at that. The buttons aren't exact either. There's an extra one here. Rope marks. She was tied up? They tied cinder blocks to her ankles. So she would sink. Oh. Oh, what is she holding? Just as clenched. So she fought back? No marks on the knuckles. Oh. Maybe she was grabbing something? Maybe. She holding something. W what are you doing? Only way to find out. Oh, come on. There better be something in there. Yeah, Jesus, boy. Bigby. What is it? Flowers. I knew it. You're right. These buttons are wrong. I wonder. Oh, what, what am I wondering? Snow. I need to open her code. Bigby, just let me. Okay. I Sorry, that uh, took longer than expected. What have you found out? I haven't finished yet. Well, get on with it then. We can't Oi, waste don't rush me, bitch. The killer might be preparing and about for attack as people we speak. rushing me. We should keep going. Wearing silk lingerie snow? <laughs> Why do you want to know? I'm just trying to see if the clothes are exact. They're not. What is that? She had the perfume with her. Looks like someone picked it out for her. Okay. So, someone gave her instructions. I 
I've seen things like Hockin this out, before. Yeah. Really? It's definitely magic. Though witches don't usually craft objects these days. I okay. don't think it's wise to fool around with that. It's some kind so, of yeah, black this is market magic. Who knows starting to get a bit do? weird. We should have it looked at. Just to make sure it isn't dangerous. Mm. You may be right. One way to find out. <laughs> yeah, let's find out. Huh. What? There's something in here. How do we open it? Uh. Might want to stand back if you're worried. Let's try and break it open. I'm gonna try to open it. Something to do with these rings here. Okay. What is? So many characters in this game. Well, wait a minute, this is the character list. How can they help you with this? Um. Because it makes about a million pounds in character design in this game. Okay. Is that the best one? Which one? I have no clue what I'm going to be doing here. There's not really a best one, but at the minute, um, is it just like what you Oh, there you go. Here. What does that mean? Oh. Okay, this is pretty weird. You know. Lack of air. It's your hair. Oh, that's fucked. Someone must have taken this from my apartment. I noticed it was missing. I couldn't think. That's this fucked is the up. Last this is. I had of Rose and me. My sister and I don't talk much anymore. Who did this, Big P? She's a troll. You gotta be kidding me. I, when I leave today, I took the G fuel tub with me. Yeah, she's a truck. And we oh, okay. Who is she? That wasn't there before. What the? She is. I don't know many trolls, I'm afraid. Should have left them all back in the homelands. You don't mean that, do you? With that, <coughs> it's gotta be Holly's sister, Lily. The woodsman told me about her. You're right. She was reported missing, but I, I guess it just slipped through the cracks. Okay, this is starting to get a bit weird. Who knows? She might know something about this. Who Lily was seeing? Well, certainly another troll. We should go. You can't go out there. Why not? It's too dangerous. Someone tried to kill you. Bigby, you can't let her go out there with you. You're staying here. And do nothing like I always do. Oh, D. I just shut Snow down. <laughs> oh. Okay. So, yeah, that is slightly weird. This whole thing is complete bullshit, and always has been. I mean, what's his job, really? To keep shit from reaching the woodlands. Jack, I don't know where they are. You're a bar. You're supposed to have darts around. And I normally do, but who knows where the fuck they went to after... Oh, on my back. Yeah, boy. Come on, Holly. I need entertainment. This'll do. <laughs> okay, okay, I know. Just relax. Not here to start anything. Okay. Every time I see this guy, he seems to lose weight. 
It's amazing. It, it really is. He loses weight and yet somehow keeps all the muscle. Jack. Wolfie, my dear, how are you? This sort of guy would piss me off. Because, you know, we were just talking about you. All of us. Not too good right now. Well, that's sad to hear. Me? Oh, I'm great, as usual. Uh -huh. I'm dying to hear about the body that came out of the East River this morning. It was a fable, right? Oh, everyone knows. The toad was just here. Looked like Snow White. So we were just wondering why, of all the possible suspects in Fable Town, why would you Ooh, arrest damn. a poor old woodsman who you know had nothing to do with these murders? Bigby, come on. You can't be so dumb as Jack, to... find the off button, now! What is it with you two? <laughs> you and Gran are all, let's get a posse together. Gosh, keep your voice down. Around, but as soon as the big bad wolf walks in, your tails go between your legs. Cat got your nerve? What happened? What happened? I'm tired is what happened. Tired of what? Of trouble, Jack. I'm sick and um, tired of trouble. I don't I want any more. So just stop revving his motor or wait outside or fuck the hell off. I don't care which. Jack. What? Bigby, look. Two fables are dead. And shit, Gren's sister. Holly's sister. Holly's sister has been missing for what? A few days now? And we haven't heard word one about it from anyone. Yeah, fuck Jack. Hey, easy. Ah, fuck. What I do? It's enough. Ah! Go fuck, fuck on Jack. up, Beanstalk, Jackie boy. Grant, you gotta learn some new lines. Let me tell you. <laughs> All right then. Actually, have there been any updates? Holly, your sister's yeah. dead. She's the one we found early this morning. Oh, damn. Fucking damn it. Of course, the dear princess Snow fucking White is all safe and sound. Where were you when we reported this weeks ago, huh? Where are you when we ever fucking need you? If you'd give one ounce of a shit about her, about any of us, she might have been safe. She might have been cared for. She might have been... <laughs> I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry we found your sister this way, and I... I wish this had ended up better. Okay. Gosh. Lush. Lily. God damn it. I know this is hard. You can just, uh... Damn. This is tough. I ain't got nothing for you, Wolf. All right, I think that's the reaction of great fortune. Oh, for fuck's sake. What could you possibly want right now? I thought we agreed you'd lay low. I didn't Snow. I have to do something, all right? And this is at least what I can do right now. Oh, yeah, really? She knows. So your business is done here. Damn. Holly, Shit. get the fuck out of my bar. Well, it just I know. should have been you. Shh. It should have been you, and it wasn't. Ooh. Brutal as. We recovered this from her personal effects. I thought you might like to have it. Oh, that's not I very nice. Know she still had this. Oh, the copper was from a dwarf mine. That was decent of you. Grin. Yeah. Take off for a bit, would you? Are you sure?
I don't know that much about our life. Oh. Honestly, we didn't talk often. Oh, pleasant. She was lost here in the city. She just got swept away by it. Do you have any idea why she'd be glamoured as Snow White? What? Oh god. Are you not? I'm sorry. That was probably about She was hooking to pay down debt. It ain't me up to see her that way. Eventually the only people wow. she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. The owner, Georgie, with all his fucking fees, it's a crock of shit. That's how they kept her under their thumb, really. You know, this is pretty intense. Holly, okay. If it's too much, we don't have to do this. We've got a lead. Maybe we can take it from here? Thanks for everything, Holly. Is there, um, is there anything? Very nice, it no. is. No, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy and I don't need charity. It's not charity. It's looking up for our own. Is she? Where is she? She's at the business office. She's taken care of. I'm gonna have to go down there and you get shut her. Up. <laughs> Please, we can handle the funeral arrangements. No, no, it's it's a kind of it's a formality with trolls. We burn our dead by sunrise, or I don't know, some old world shit will. I'm being nicer. Uh, of course. Okay. Good. Let's go down to the business office and start making the necessary preparations. All right. That club? I'll go down there now. See what I can find out from the owner. You were good with her. I'm impressed. Really, thanks. It just made everything easier. Oh, I'm a good guy. Now we're going clubbing. Clubbing. Yeah, I'm going clubbing. Pleasant. So this is getting getting a bit weird. So that was a good chapter. Yeah. What is this? Who's this, eh? Oh, Sheriff, what a nice surprise. I'm not sure I've seen you here before. You're always welcome, of course. I'm a friend of Georgie's. Where is he? A friend? Hm. You're in love. He's here. Come on. Oh, I lied. You're in for it. I should warn you that... Georgie does not like to be bothered when he's working. You try and, do too, and he's in kind of a mood right now. I mean, more so than usual. I have a way of people. No, I get. I got some stuff on. You need to go away. Welcome to the Pudding and Pie, where we cater to the diverse tastes of the Fable community. Your pleasure is our pleasure. Your desires are our desires. Did you know Lily? She worked here. <laughs> My lips are sealed. You'd better ask Georgie. <laughs> oh, I'm loving this jamming music.
What do you think you're doing? You look like you're trying to take a shit. Who's gonna want that? No one's gonna want that. Nice place. You do have a sense of humor. Okay, so this is pretty weird already. Good luck. It's your face. You have to smile. You never smile. How many times do I have to say it? Hey. Oh, it's you. We're closed. Keep dancing, you. I didn't say stop. Oh, damn. He being annoyed. You stay right there. Don't even think about sitting down. We're not finished. Leave her alone, no. asshole. Sure, whatever you say. No, I'm being nice. I'm a good guy. You here for a little taste? Tell you what, come back after midnight, maybe. I can Are hook you, a you real up. Good guy here, then? Or uh, knowing you. She's probably not quite your style. You'd prefer someone who can take a bit of a beating. I'm not here for that. Oh, I'm not here for that. Oh, just stopped in for the chips then. Ooh. Jesus, big bee, you're so you're corny. Being pissed. I love it though. No, no, he's annoying me already. Okay. Okay, all right, sheriff. Just fucking with you. Look. I know why you're here. Are you sure? Listen, Sheriff. Around here, we can't afford to wait for you and your swanky pals to take an interest. We have to look out for each other. When shit happens, I hear about it. Especially if it concerns my livelihood. In that case, I assume you knew Lily was glamour. Of course he was, you daft git. She was a troll. <laughs> no. I mean glamour to look like another fable. Yeah? Well, so what? Who gives a toss? People get up to all kinds of things when nobody's watching. I think you're behind this. You got her a black market glamour as part of some twisted sex fantasy. Oh, oh black damn. Market, is it? Calling this How guy exciting. out. This is exactly what I would expect from a thug like you. Storm in, throw around a bunch of accusations, try to scare people. But you've got fuck all to back it up. And we're all just meant to jump anytime the wolf shows his teeth. Nothing to back it up? Well, what the fuck is this, then? Get that out of my face. I found it on Lily's body, and it's definitely a back alley job. Where did she get it? You've got this all wrong. If Lily was doing a special glamour, it wasn't for me. For fuck's sake, I want that kind of eat. Who was she doing it for, then? She had clients, Bigby. Maybe one of them was into it. A lot of fucked up people in Fable Town. Like who? Try looking in the mirror. Anyway, okay. now what to do with me? Must make this music bang it. Go on then. You're gonna hit me. Go ahead. That's what you wanna do, right? That's what you came here for, right? One more time. Who hired her? <laughs> oh no, <laughs> fuck! You! Take your sad fucking face where I can't see it! Bloody bastard fucking shit! <laughs> you get pissed. Of proud of your little mess. Fuck's sake. Fuck up, man. Oh. He's getting a bit pissed off, he is. Hey! Just cleans up and provides a little muscle when we need it. He's not going to know anything about the girls and their clients or any of that. No one knows. Don't you get it? It's by design. Discretion is our guarantee, right? And the way we guarantee that is that no one knows anything they don't have to know. Including me. I cover my eyes and take my cut. End of story. Why not look it up? What's that? Isn't there a little book with all the stuff about the girls and all that written in You're it? You're a fucking moron. Show me. There is no book. And as for you, voice Hans, is so you weird. need to work on your communication skills and have a fairly good idea where to start. Hey, that's my personal property.
<laughs> sure, go ahead. Do what comes naturally. Oh, being intimidation. Dating. Tell me about the book. You haven't got the slightest clue about anything. Oh. Hey, now. Intimidating. I want crap, that George. book. I want the book Hans is talking about. Hans is confused. Again. I want the fucking book, mate. Give me the fucking Don't book. Don't even think about it. Give me your money. Jesus fuck! Do I have to be forceful. Touch that. You hear me? That's nothing to do with you. Give me your money. There's still time for you to just cough it up. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but there's no you Andy Magic book with everything you want to know jotted down inside. I sincerely wish there was. Maybe it would get you off me back. Well, well. Oh. What's this? Looks like See a floor it, safe. Uh, I wouldn't know. It was here when we moved in. I don't have a key to it. Sheriff, will you come on? Fuck's sake, I've got to open up in a few hours. Give me the book. Ah. Uh, Give it to me. You're a big bad bastard. We get it. Everyone's guilty. We fucking get it. Jesus. You're killing me. I'm begging you. I'll pay you. People are dead. Good women Come are on. dead. Then quit being a bloody idiot. Come on, mate. Leave it. There's nothing there for you. You might want to stand back. All right, all right, all right. Yeah. That's right. Give us a key. Bloody come on, men. Go and open that safe. Give me the book. I want the book. Once again, don't get your hopes up. There's nothing in here that will tell you anything. But it's a kick to the balls for me and my club, so we can be happy about that. Here, this is Lily's last entry. So tell me, Georgie, who's this Mr. Smith? Oh dear. I'm afraid it might be a fake name, Bigby. Secrecy is sort of how this all works. Even Hans knows that. What's 207? Room number? I don't fucking know. Millimeters, maybe? Don't bullshit me, Georgie. This is your book. Your girl. I'm not their fucking secretary. I give them a stage. I give them music. I provide an erotic venue to attract and retain clients. You know, Let's be clear on something. Casual. The girls make the arrangements with their clients, not me. The girls. They're the ones with the Mr. Smiths and Joneses and Mr. X types. Whatever happens outside the club, that's on them. I log the business, take my cut, and I'm out. Now, I've had quite enough of you and your bully. What? Excuse me while I call your superiors what? to make a complaint. Dunno. Okay, let's go and find some shit. Hello? Business office. Come on, let me in here. Saw this door open before we. Come in, there we go. See what all of this shit is. Somebody tried to break into that. What the hell? About that life, you know. Ain't about that life. Broken open, but there isn't even a lock. Lock's been busted open. You'd have a look at everything, you know. Lipstick, lip gloss, compact. Glitter. Faith. Okay. Oh, please Faith, be a photo. Thanks for covering for me tonight. Let's talk before you go over to the apartment. Lily. Well, that 
jibes with what the woodsman told me. Yeah, this is game. I like these sort of games, you know. Excuse me. I heard you out there. I don't remember ever seeing you here before. I didn't have a reason to come here before. Yeah. That Lisa does not look like she's it's doing anything. <laughs> You're trying to place me. They used to call me the Little Mermaid. Once upon a time. Does that help? You have legs. Is that a glamour? No, they're real. Do you like them? They cost me a lot. My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. Of course you do. I don't have answers. You'll have to find those yourself. Oh, mysterious girl, eh? Does the number 207 mean anything to you? I assumed it was a room number, but where? We can't talk about work. This is a murder case. I mean, can't. These lips are sealed. Discretion is our guarantee. It's how things work here. I don't give a damn. Tell me what it means, bitch. Guarantee. I need you to cooperate. This is what I need to know about. Lily's last entry. Who's Mr. Smith? Where's room 207? I have to know. Look angry. Lips. Sheriff nah. Wolf, would you like to make an appointment with me? <laughs> what exactly are you suggesting? We could make all the usual arrangements, the usual place. Oh, I see. What would I need to do? I need a hundred and fifty. It's not good to be short. No, oh, fuck it, why not? This isn't enough, but it's all I've got. Wait here for a second. Just really slouched over, you know. Not two oh seven. You'll think of something. <laughs> the open arms. Hmm. This is where they met. Enjoy your stay. I hope you find what you're looking for. Damn. Pretty weird, you know. Okay. Subtle. <laughs> well, this is getting interesting. Finding out more and more over time. Okay. I honestly don't know what I'm going to expect.
No. Okay, let's go. Give me that. There we go. I should probably repair that. If the rooms are anything like the lobby, they should cut their rates. <laughs> Want it by the hour or for the whole night? Oh, uh, you. I work here, okay? I work the front desk. It's to help pay rent. So Damn. now you know. Did not expect that. I know I should have told somebody, but Beast would lose his mind if you knew. You should really tell Beast. He's worried about you. I will, I will. I just need to in my own time. By the way, thanks for covering for me. So what are you doing here? Oh, you have a key. Someone else was murdered last night. I heard. The victim was someone who worked at the Pudding and Pie, Lily. She, uh, come around here ever? Oh, oh, yes, the, the troll. I did see her. I mean, you know, we never really spoke, but she came off a tad intimidating. <sighs> Had to meet a girl named Faith. Or just maybe hear that name? I might have. I don't know. By the end of the night, it's it's kind of a blur with all the names. Tara, Brandy, Amber, Heather. Sorry. A lot of names. Thanks. My father would just put it out on the floor anyway. It'll be better if anyone sees you, that they at least see you with me. So they know that I didn't let you just wander around by yourself. Ask Carnival, you know. Five minutes, please. We'll see, beauty. Just be ready to act like I'm trying to kick you out. That won't be hard. Okay. That's pretty good. Go away. Come on, let go. Maybe? I assume you'll be filing some kind of an official report or something, which is fine. It's just that I was wondering if I need to be in it. Do you have to mention my name? I mean, it's it's not like Beast would ever see your report. It's just, well, you never know. Don't worry about it. The less I have to write down, the better. Thanks. <laughs> I appreciate Pretty much how I, I like it. Well, here we are. Which one was it? Two or seven. You have keys to these rooms? I thought you had a key. Not to this one. Hold on, Bigby. I can't just let you go into any room you want. Why Seriously, not? What if someone found out? have to let me in there. This is the room, 207. But I... This is the room Lily was in. Oh, fine. Well, that's weird. This key is supposed to open every room in the building, but it's not working. Beauty! Ah, shit. Beast? Big B? How could you do this to me? No, oh, that looks Wait really, really weird. How could you do this? We've been together through everything. I took care of you. I love. It's not what you think, please. You're cheating on me with him. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> please. I promise, I'm not. I'm helping him. That's all. I'll bet. I'm sure you help each other just great. Beast, stop this right now. This isn't the way to handle things. What do you know? You don't have anybody. What the Damn. fuck is wrong with you? She's my wife! Beast, listen to me! There's nothing going on! 
I'm not! Uh, hey! Master! I guess I finally see you for who you are! Stop! Stop it! You told me you hadn't seen her, you fucking liar! You've been sleeping with her this whole time! I don't want to hurt you, so just calm down and... Beast! Yeah, that's right, back off. What the hell do you think you're doing? Oh, big fire. You aren't even listening to me. Oh. She's my wife, big big. Come on, let go. I told you. Just stop. Come on. Oh, there we go. Stop. Oh, again. Let go. Boom, bitch. Leave him be. This is my fault. Oh, it's frozen. No, the game's frozen. Oh, there we go. Oh, well, I'll press that a bit later. Shut up, Josh. Oh, that's gotta hurt. He's had enough. Yeah, he's had enough. It's not that big. You ruined everything! She's my fuck! That's one way to get through the door. Oh no, the game's frozen. Again. See this. Fuck you know. Beauty, stay in the hall. What? Why? What's going on? <gasps> oh my god. Don't touch anything. Is this is this? Lily met her client here. Mr. Smith, whoever he is. And then must have happened right here. Jesus. Hey, that's last pretty night. fucked. Yeah. I was on shift last night. On shift? Beauty, what? I'm not a prostitute, you idiot. I work the front desk. Did you notice anything out of the ordinary? There might have been some loud noises. I, I, I don't know. I mean, loud noises aren't out of the ordinary. His I didn't eyes hear are fucked. <laughs> screaming or anything like that, but shouldn't I have? It just seemed like a totally normal night. How is that even possible? There's so much blood. Go lock the front door. Keep people out of the hallway. I need you to be sure no one comes in here. This is a crime scene, okay? But just do what he says. I'll explain later, okay? Bigby, what kind of a person could do something like this? That's exactly what I'm about to try to find out. And this is fucked. I can't believe this. Do all the rooms have these same clocks with the built-in cassette player? Mm. I think so, yes. Okay. So I was just unplugging my phone. Where'd you oh, get that? flower. Lily had it in her hand. In case there was any doubt over who died here. Okay. We shouldn't even be in here. Okay, yeah, this is getting pretty cooked. It's a book about Snow White. Or about the Monday version of her story, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Great, now I've got hiccups. The whole book is about her? Yeah. Why is she in a glass coffin? This is the part where she's in a deep sleep, but they think she's dead. What's it mean? Why mark the page where she's sleeping? I 
Um, yeah, fuck he it. made up the bed to match the coffin in the picture. Flowers, too. He'd have had Lily lie down just like this. You mean just before? In the story, that's when someone comes to kiss her. That's our Mr. Smith. This is creepy. The coffin and, and a weird fixation on snow. What the hell is wrong with this guy? Yeah, it's pretty fucked up. Anything else? Nope. Okay. It's a huff and puff. I thought you were the only one who smoked that crap brand. Apparently not. He brought wine. Classy. Okay, what else is there then? Okay, that's pretty... Oh, what's in there? Nah. Is that... Okay, yeah, that's fun. It's been rough with this dress. It's torn. Oh no, she must have been wearing it. He killed her and then... And then he took it back off? No, there's no blood on it. It must have been torn some other time. What? What are you thinking? This is the same dress as the one in the book about snow. Yeah, it's pretty fucked, this is. Dressing Lily up in it to I don't know. The snow from the book. You're right. It's the same dress. I don't know how uh, this is connected, you know? Pretty weird. She could have known. She probably what was that? The money. Oh, okay, beast. Anyone. How did she wind up it's fucking here? scary. I mean, not exactly fucking weird here, this is. Just how does Shut up. Georgie took advantage of her when she was in trouble. He's a real... <sighs> yeah. Okay. She must have been so scared. Yeah, you don't say. Oh. Do you I'll smell something? No. Don't know. Just apple. You can play the day until you know. Huh. Might do. Oh no, there's more? What? What now? There's only one bite taken out of the apple. Whoever was eating it didn't get to finish. I think that might have been Lily. Mr. Smith attacked her while she was eating. It's all so senseless. He's fixated on snow. He attacks without warning. Yeah, this is pretty weird. God, I'm just having trouble I've said that so many times, but still. This guy has some kind of weird snow obsession, but then there's this other stuff, too. Killing her while she's eating? What? I guess she must have been doing it wrong or something. I hope you're just about through. I don't really want to stay in here any longer. Oh, note. See what the note says. Are those pictures of the dead girl? How do you know? I'm in this one. It was taken last winter. Oh no. Bigby. This kind of stalking, it doesn't just stop by itself. Trust me, I know about this firsthand. He'll keep trying to get closer and closer. His stand in for snow is gone now, so. The next step closer. What is it? It's <gasps> Crane. What the hell? Well, this is getting fucked up. Okay. No respect for the dead. So two. Oh, is this episode two done? Might be. Could be after you now. Good. I am dying to get my hands on that disgusting weasel. Are 
really starting to like you, Sheriff. You're not Where afraid you to be a complete bastard. Obviously, there will have to be some changes. I well, okay, can then. shave your skin off one sheet at a time. Take care of it, Big B, or I'll take care of it for you. Ooh. It's not a dream, pretty forceful, Jesus you know. Jesus Christ, Big B. Is that you? Fucking hell, he's fucking ugly. Very, very ugly. Okay, so that's all my. Yeah, this is all my stats. I'm always on the low end for some reason. Okay. Let's do another episode then. Episode three. Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. I, I can't tell you anything. You can't or you won't. Snow. Yeah, that bit was fucked. That was I just want you to be careful. Weird. I almost lost you once and... I'm not yours to lose. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. She looks like Holly. It's not Holly, it's her sister Lily. She was looking to pay down debt. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. The open arms. Oh my god! What is it? It's Crane. That is weird. Okay, so let's see what's gonna happen next in this episode. Come on then. Look at that crane, I didn't expect him to. Okay. Motherfucking piece of shit. Crane? That's fucking oh, weird. God, you'd think you'd know a person. Bigby, you have yeah, to you tell do. her. Fucking I know. What's going on? What did you find up there? You know, other than the... Crane's the killer. What? Ichabod Crane? How do you know? Fuck you now. Shit! Crane's been... <laughs> oh, Bigby, calm oh, I'm down. pissed. Everything's going to be fine. Okay, it's going to be fine. I have to tell Snow what's going on right now. Okay, it's it's going to be okay. Where did you see her last? Did she say where she was going? She took Holly to the business office to prepare for the funeral. Lily's funeral? Yeah. How do you know? I was just at the trip trap, and I heard Gren telling some folks about a funeral at the Buckingham the Bridge. Trip trap? Are you drinking? When? Right now. They were on their way out. Well, that's pretty weird. Big B. Wait. What? Snow's... Uh, Snow's been through a lot. There are things she doesn't talk about. Just... Please be careful. What are you trying to say? You know how you felt when you saw that picture? Well, it's going to be much worse for her. Just remember that. Yeah, you're probably right. Well, I'll have to tell her somehow, so why not be pretty blunt and, you know.
Okay. So. How is this? Working. Whew. Cool then. of losing Lily will ever subside. Oof. I know as well She's as you that me. it will never subside. But I also know that that the memory of Lily No, is that's not interrupt. Well. And it will in time equal in strength to our mourning her loss. And it is in that spirit that I'd like Let's to have a look at some things like what you've all been so grateful to share with me. Your memories of her. How she could be stubborn and patient, rash and thoughtful. Okay. I'll miss How she carried about a torch you. for the old I'll miss our fights. for tradition. I'll for miss you. Pageantry. I'll and most of all, it seems how Lily loved. Now Lily you will never die from indifference family. or lead a she tedious life. Goodbye, good sweetheart. And bad. Thanks for everything. Then chills, you know. Vivian. So good. What I've been told. I know in my heart that she would have liked to be here tonight. You are a big, bright, shining we'll star in this shithole of a town. Thank you. And I miss you already. Grand. Oh, that's sweet. Bigby, is everything okay? No, not you. Holly, it's... He wasn't fucking invited. Holly, wait. Oh. He has no right to be here. Not after what he did. Holly, I'm sorry, but I had to come. You throw my sister down the witching well, and you have the nerve to show your face here? After you This is lie, getting pretty interesting. Promise me? Holly, wait. That was Crane. Just Crane. He disposed of Lily's body before Big B could do anything about it. I'm telling you the truth. Don't cover for him. But this genuinely wasn't his fault. Holly, this just isn't important right now. I need to talk to Snow. You are unfucking believable Oh, damn. Holly, Big B's trying in, in his own way, and I'm sure he has a very good reason for being here. But this one isn't on him. Why are you here anyway? And don't say it's because you care about this. Everything okay? You know, let's be I think pretty. I know who murdered your sister. Who? Maybe we should talk about this somewhere else. What? No, I deserve to know. I know, I, I know, but this isn't the way to go about this. I don't give a fuck about the way. I don't care about procedure. If anyone should be told, it's me. It's us, right now. Let's talk about Snow. I came here to talk to Snow to about, about this. No, screw that. My sister's dead, and I don't give a shit who she looked like when it happened. It's not about her. It's about Lily. Just tell us who it was. Okay, everyone, just stop. Bigby and I are going to have a little chat while everyone else gets back to the funeral. Oh, yeah, come on. What? Then. I'm not just going to sit here Please, and... I promise I will tell you what the hell is going on just as soon as I know there's something to tell, but just let us do our jobs first. Look, Holly, I know how this must... No, you don't know how this must feel. You have no idea. Oh, damn, she's being pissed Don't fuck or... anything up. Don't bother anybody. And when the first sign of trouble comes, and it will come because you're a goddamn walking trap for it, I want you the fuck out of here. You hear me? Of course. You won't even know I'm here. Let's just continue, okay? This is such total fucking bullshit. Let's go, Holly. It's your turn to talk. Okay, you think you know who the killer is. What have you got? Bigby? What's going on? Lily was Crane's prostitute. 
I follow the lead of this shithole yeah. hotel, the open Let's arms. Let's break it to us slowly. Crane had a room there, and he's been taking prostitutes, or at the very least Lily, and making her look like you while he was, you know. This is... I don't even know what to say right now. That's I fucked really up. don't. I'm just trying everything I can right now to not picture it. I'm sorry, Snow. And I'm sorry I had to be the one to tell you. You're sure this is what happened? This is what he's been doing? Because please, Bigby, don't confuse things. Deposing Crane would be the next step. And if we get this wrong, it would mean more than our jobs. Yeah, show the picture. You took a cab here, right? Yeah. I'll drive. I might be blunt with her. Snow? Narissa? What is it? I'm sorry, but Holly's asking for you. Are they starting the burn? Yes. Everyone who spoke should really be present for this part. She's kind of distraught. You're not leaving yet, are you? Two minutes. I don't mean to be... Um, no, I understand. It's just that something's come up. No, I get it. Take your time. It won't take long. How'd it go? At the motel? Did you find anything? Fucked. It went really fucked. Yeah. Lily was killed there. It was an awful mess. Oh. I'm sorry. Nerissa! Yeah, uh, Coming! Damn, that's... Fucked up. Okay, so it's <laughs> four eighteen. Wait, 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 easy now, girl. You know how this goes. The first thing in a visit, oh. you say, "How do you do?" How do you do? That way, it's proper. What are you doing here? That is the question, isn't it? Or at least a question. We'll snip to the chase for all sakes. A little bird told us that you're fit to go after Crane. And you see, we have an interest in that particular boy. So you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. Just take a little vacation is all. Don't even have to go anywhere. Just sit in your office and whistle to heaven for a yeah, few Yeah, do you work for Crane? Days. Sort of sound like you do. Are you working for Crane? Did he send you? No. See now, you're already asking too many questions. Just pay attention. So what's it gonna be? We have a deal. You leave Crane alone, and we leave you to yours. Brother, you think this act you got going scares me? Because <laughs> it doesn't. Always wanting to do things the fun way. Ladies, gentlemen, invertebrates, please, rest easy. This is not... What the hell is going on? What's happening? Very sorry to impose, but we only had a deal to work out with Bigby. And we're unhappy to report that things did not go as smoothly as planned. Bigby, what is he talking about? Never you mind that, it ain't any of your- What deal? They want me to leave Crane alone. Crane? Oh, now you shouldn't have done that, old boy. Really? Oh, yeah, that I think I should have. Right I'm telling everyone fuck our you dealings. <laughs> what did I tell you? What did I say? Ali? You think you motherfuckers can come here uninvited? You think you can just fucking interrupt Lily's funeral? Calm down, darling. It was just a simple business transaction. You fucking freaks are not getting away with this. Holly, don't move. It's not worth it, Holly. They'll leave on their own. Yeah, let's spare all the fuss. It's just a dead yeah, hole. Fuck off, man. I'm gonna kill Ooh. you! Oh, got shot. I can't 
can't tell where I got shot. <laughs> was it on the shoulder? Ooh, she dead as hell. She dead as hell. That ain't good. That ain't Gucci. 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 Well, so that was exciting. No, fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. No, I, I don't. I think I might, but I don't know. This is annoying. So. Every single time she gets comments, then she goes, That is sexual harassment. And it's the cringiest thing in the world. Well, What's happening? She's not Gucci, though. What is happening? I'll put my Gucci in her Gucci. What? I'm so confused. For me, it is. They are like literally a mile apart. People call her a land whale on the forehead. Oh. She's a motherfucking Okay. Why did you just do like a fucking like great Come on, let me talk to him. Let me talk to him. Oh, I don't know how. Come on. Well, okay. Cool. Can I, can I, like, there we go. Okay. Let's go in. Come on, let's examine this. Or not. I have no clue what's happening. It's not letting me do anything. Which is always great. Come on. Okay, why is this? Really? Come on, what's... how the hell do I... He's too scrawny, no offence, but he's... You need to be like, really fucking broad, or... Or hairy. Or hairy as fuck, yeah. Okay, I don't know. How to. See, I just. To college, I wear the fat wear. I usually wear a tie dye t shirt if I have one. Maybe jeans and a hoodie. <laughs> I wear. Um, I need to stock up on my tie dye. I need to be more hipster. <laughs> Why is it not doing anything? Well, if you don't wear a snap. Yeah, for some reason it's not letting me do anything, but okay. Okay. Come on, how do I? Oh. Let, 
Nice. I do not understand this. Yeah, for some reason. Complete work. I don't, I don't get what's, mm. this is <laughs> being weird, it's not letting me do anything, come on, let me do something. I think it's glitching out. I'm just gonna have to do this, see if it hmm? see if it works. Come on, please put me back where I am. Oh, I think you put me back all the way to the start. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, I didn't show me this before, so... Yay. I did as well as I could to take out the buckshot, but there's still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. They'll eventually warm their way out on their own, but until they do, you're gonna be sore. Bigby, Dr. Swinehart was appointed Fabletown physician for a reason. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. <clears throat> Don't go looking for any more fights. Keep strain off your heart. And try and get some rest. I can't take it easy. I have to... Yeah, I have to find Crane. I have to find Crane. Big D? What's wrong? Lack of sleep for one thing. Getting shot for another. They'll be fine. I had everyone that got wounded sent home. Holly refused to let me see where she lived. So I left her and Grendel back at her bar with a dose of juniper and spring water. Just remember what I said. The stitches won't hold up if you continue to Ow, act. Ow, I just elbowed the wall. Like it's always great. Do. Everything in moderation. And uh, eat more chicken. I'll try to. All right then. Very good. Bzzm, bzzm, bzzm. My phone know, noise. Bzzm, bzzm, bzzm. The town is starting to find out. Well, I'll leave you two to it then. Miss White, Big B. I ain't doing no deals with those fat so, people. To recap, Crane watched so, through the know. magic mirror uncover his room at the open arms, and then he smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after. Him. And we know this. Because Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. That about cover it? Once he puts all the pieces back together, Ugh. it'll be easy to catch Crane. So, I guess that's the plan, currently. But, I, I don't know. That's the plan? Just wait for the mirror? Yeah, just wait that's for the mirrors, what the hell? Right now. What the hell is going on? Just... I said I don't do something know else. What the Tweedles get out of this? I don't know if Crane sent them. I don't know if. I mean, okay. this is gonna sound crazy, but do you really think he did it? In the morning. Oh. Everything points to him. I get it, but do you no. really think he killed those women? Because it's just—it's incomprehensible to me. He killed them, and he sent D and Dumb to slow me down. He's—he was a conniver, a, a coward, a liar. And I'll always hate him for that. And I'll hate him for how he held me in his thoughts. But murdering Damn. prostitutes. Ow. Everything okay over there? Yes, Miss White. I just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> so casual. Thanks for tonight, by the way. That could have gone really Probably terribly. Not. I mean, even worse than it did. I'm glad you were there. 
I just feel bad for Holly, really. Yeah. Time heals everything eventually. At least, I hope so, for her sake. Yeah, honestly, that must be the worst I, funeral ever. Um, <laughs> ask you a question? It's kind of personal. And I don't want to offend you. Sure. It's yeah, why just, not? Fuck it. When stuff hits the fan, like, like it did tonight, it feels like before we came to the city, it feels kind of like home. And I've heard it said that maybe in some tiny little bottled up way deep inside, you kind of enjoy it when things go wrong. Because it gives you an excuse to just, you know, stop pretending. Why even bring this up? This is... I guess it doesn't matter. Proper awkward. Uh, guys? We have a problem. What is it? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. What do you mean, missing a piece? Yes, it's, uh... It's not here. Crane must have taken a shard with him. Oh, I can't believe this. I saw Crane pick something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize what it was until now. Well, the mirror can't work unless it's whole. Well, that's not entirely true. Or what, Buffkin? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? We have no idea how long that will take. We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm just saying, waiting is an option. No. We can't depend on the mirror. What exactly is the hard way? Yeah, what well, is the hard way then? His desk, everything. What? He you had know, to so. have left something that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. Smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. We can still solve this ourselves. I know never that. Never mind that. Come help me look. Ooh, she's been sassy. Oh, poor Buff Jean. Oh. See what? Hi, Mr. Bigby. I can still help you catch Crane, you know. Oh, yeah? Oh, that's funny. Yes. I saw him jump on the telephone before he left. He called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that is. His witch? Yes, it sounded like the one he got his snow glamours from. Look, uh, the whole mirror thing, it's not your fault, all right? Y you mean it? Yeah, being a good guy again. No, always being kind. I'll just see if I can do anything about this. You do that. Let me round there. Okay, where am I going? Okay. Oh, snow looks and pissed at me. <laughs> okay. Is that fuck you? If you want to read it, just pause it. Did Crane ever do any work? Only when Paul was around. Is that what two is of it? seven? It's the key to his room at the open yeah. arms. You still haven't told me what was in there. I want to know. Crane was uh, okay, why not? paying Lily to live out a fantasy of him and you together. Forgive me if I spare you the details. I keep thinking back. I keep replaying moments in my head, interactions with him when he'd catch me in the elevator or bump into me outside. 
There's only so much you can repress, you know? Fucking weird. Snow, you, you couldn't have known. No, I could have. Come on, let's keep looking. Anything else? Oh, yeah. And like our face just lights up like, ooh, we we'll found something. There's a page here that was torn out. Oh yeah? Buffkin, do you know what was here? It's a ring, at least. Every magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. Wait, what witch? Buffkin overheard Crane set up a meeting with a witch. Well, yes, it sounded like the one he got his, uh, you glamours from. It must be about this ring. You mentioned this before. No one asked me. Buffkin! I'm hungover. I'm sorry. He set the meeting at 2 a.m. tonight. What's going on? Is the mirror fixed yet? Bluebeard, this isn't the time. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called I me called to... just to see if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Well, you did, and I know. Damn. The cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dull pervert or not? Bluebeard, get the hell out of here. This is none of your business. None of my business? Crane's the murderer. He escaped. It seems he spoiled your every attempt at locating him. And now it's none of my business? We don't know no, who's the murderer. Fuck off. Oh please. Of course he is. Look. I think he was him. Time he was a murderer took instead. A piece of the mirror so we can't use it. The only thing Fucking we weird. know is that Crane's yeah. going to see a witch at two o'clock. AM or PM? AM. Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn away help. What do you know about Crane anyway? That he has the stones to kill people. Let's question it. Like any common sex frightened serial killer. Is why not? It's a real challenge. Look, we know that Crane is going to see a witch, and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. We pissed. You in charge in the first place. Fixing the mirror was the most logical You're thing. You're a secretary. He's the sheriff. And none of you were chosen to run this office. Who elected Damn, you to make these pissed. decisions? Nobody, but that Who doesn't... elected her to spend my money? Well, I've been doing that unofficially for years now. Unofficially is not officially. I'm heading up the investigation, okay, Bluebeard? That makes this a moot point. And somebody needs to run the business office while he does so. Well then. Excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. <sighs> Alright, let's pissed. just look on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. And that he'll be there at <coughs> two. So that oh, gives goodness. us <laughs> for a few short hours to find out who it is and where they live and get them all at once. And a few shorter hours, the more you babble about it. We haven't been the ones babbling. Yeah, and that's if he's even going there. We're trusting a monkey's interpretation of a phone call. It's not an interpretation. It's what he said, all right? Yeah, and it's what we have. So let's go on it, okay? Since Lily used the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address or a phone number or something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? It doesn't matter what they know. After tonight, they'd never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere else. The Trip Trap is the better option to track the witch down. That has to be our focus. No, this is... Oh, okay, just... I don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. I completely what? forgot about the... can't just go up Whoops. There. And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. Then I'll pick the blasted lock! <sighs> I've wasted enough time waiting for the mirror to find him. I won't waste any more. You just can't Damn. go up there alone, alright? 
I've no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh. Now it's evidence. Before you had no interest, and now it's a crime scene. Bluebeard, you're not going anywhere. Really now? And what? You gonna stand here and babysit me? While the rest of your leads evaporate into mist? We have to Ooh, find the witch, proper. Bluebeard. We're so having a proper argument here. Going. Or the sniveling weasel chickened out. Never went anywhere. And it's upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse. Crafting a fort out of couch cushions. Look, this is how a smart person would do it. So this is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. He's up to something. I don't know what it is, but we don't have the time to really worry about it now. Where are you gonna go, Bigby? Hmm. Where am I gonna go? So you leave Crane alone, and we leave you alone. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. No, no, I'm better off dealing with things alone. Okay. I don't need sympathy, and I don't need charity. Hmm. So you leave Crane alone, and we leave you alone. You and all your DM Dumb must know where he is. I should go to their office first. Yeah, let's go there. And I'll go to Crane's apartment. I'll look up their address. I hope you know what you're doing. Hmm? Okay. Excuse me. I'm oh, loving that hat. Hi, Sheriff Bigby. Great, great to see you. I don't know if you remember me. I've uh, seen you around, but you may have forgotten. I know who you are, Flycatcher. You've worked at the Woodlands for how many years now? <laughs> I think I've lost count. But you know, Crane, uh, let me go. Come on then. Oh yeah? It's just... Yeah, I mean, it's no big deal. So, what brings you here? I mean, can I help you with anything? Are you here to see one of the brothers? D or Dumb? I was hoping to have a talk with D or Dumb. Do you know where they are? No, they don't really keep regular hours as far as I can tell. Sorry. That's interesting. It's been uh, a quiet night so far. I think the twins are out, probably working on a case. Sometimes I don't see them for days. They gave me the job after Crane told me to get lost. Where's their office? Oh, right this way. I, I was going there next anyway. I can let you in if you want. You can wait for them there. Sure. Thanks. Hmm. No problem. I fucked up there. I'm gonna have to take a look around. Uh, well, I, I guess that would be okay. I wasn't really asking for permission. Right. <laughs> You're the sheriff. I just don't want to get in trouble or anything. I'm sure it's fine. I mean, they never told me not to let you in. It's official Fable Town business. Don't worry. Right. I, I like it how he just like puts it out. Just like on the floor. Just just sick. Reckon they're gonna come in just like this? Nah, no. Yeah. Yeah, I reckon they're gonna come in soon. Dear brother D, I think we should get ourselves a dog. Sincerely, brother Dumb. He actually mailed this? They do have their quirks. <sighs> this is pointless. Dear Brother Dumb, I hate dogs and you know it. Sincerely, Brother D. What the hell? This is proper fucked up. Proper weird. I, I know these guys can come off abrasive at times, but they aren't so bad once you get to know them. And they really care about helping people. They're kind of loud at times, but you get used to it. I guess they have to be in their line of work. How do you mean they help people? They're detectives. Anyone can come in here with a problem and they'll do their best to fix it. The way D explains it, it's like if someone lost their cat, well, they could hire them to, you know, track it down. Or like sometimes they get packages for people. They can be like couriers, you know? For who? All kinds. 
Come to think of it, I don't really know where they keep them. That's anyways, interesting. I'm just saying, you, you just don't know them like I do. Sure, flycatcher. I'm sure you have your reasons, but it's just they, they've done so much for me. Okay. Don't touch. Don't let me in. Let's see if they've got a file on a crane. It could crane. Be a crane. He owes the crooked man money. Shit. How is he planning to pay this all back? Request for property well. acquisition. Further details filed under donkey skin. Crane hired them to look for a photo? Why did he want it back so badly? Let's have a look at all of these. Beauty's in debt to the crooked man? Shit. <laughs> Interesting. Detective Brannigan. Keep an eye on her. Hmm. Cinderella. <laughs> Some random shit. Here. So that's why they were at her apartment, and the woodsman's place. See, I knew you wouldn't find anything. Anything of interest, anyways. They're, they're detectives, like I said. Just, just trying to make an honest living. I'm finding enough. I'm just saying. Look, just trust me. Oh, Tweedledee and Dumb he's putting on some meat. Nice. They're not helping anyone. Well, they helped me. Okay, great. They helped you. It's one person. Now, please, just let me concentrate here. Find anything? Not what I need. <laughs> what if, what if you're you always ask me questions. I'm not. Well, they're misunderstood, it's sure, but that doesn't mean everything people say about them is true. It's, it's, I mean, it's, you know, like when I think about it, like you guys aren't that different. You help people, out, and they help people. I, I couldn't get my get business, game, but game. I just wanted to say, you know. Any people can surprise you. You don't know what you're talking yeah. about. And because all of the shit. There's something here. I know there is. There has to be. Well, this is really interesting. Be because they're lying to you, okay, flycatcher? That's why. They aren't detectives. They shot at Snow White. Bigby, what happened to your... You want to know what this is? This is them showing up to Lily's funeral with fucking shotguns! I, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I, 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 I didn't know. Look, Flycatcher, I, I know you like them, but they're a part of whatever is happening here. They're bad guys. Well, that was interesting. <laughs> you know, just blushing out, you know. I, I didn't mean to... There's a door behind this file cabinet. Now, I don't know what they keep back here, but it might be what you're looking for. Well, that key you found should work. Well, okay then. Lego. What's down here then? Just some. Wow. Okay. Hold for BCW. What's BCW stand for then? What Mushroom? are you looking for exactly? 
Maybe I can help. Anything about Crane, or the witch he was using. Something. Okay. JD. JD. Hmm. A book. This doesn't. Really Interesting. Tell a book. Much. I thought I'd butcher. What is this stuff? This is fucking weird. I'm sorry, I know I'm late. I'll get it to you soon. Ichabod Crane. Who is he sending money to? Crooked man. Care of the mm. lucky pawn. You know what that is? Yeah, fuck it, take money. Is well, it's probably gonna bat me in the ass, so. but uh. it's interesting. There's more going on here. I still need to find that witch though. Hey, Bigby. Do you think, after all this, do you think I could come back to the woodlands? Since Crane let me go, I mean, I can still work here, but I don't think I want to now. I don't want to work with bad people, you know? That's not really my problem. Right, I, I know. Sorry. I did not mean to press that. I thought I was pressing Snow's B. Hair. Whoops. Snow White? Rip. Why? We found her hair like this inside Lily's glamour. Auntie Greenleaf. This must be the witch Crane was using. I guess D and Dumb were getting the hair for Crane and sending it to her? That's not a pleasant thought. There's no address on it. So, so what now? Snow would probably want to know about this, don't you think? I wonder if Buffkin and Snow had any luck. Maybe they found an address. Or can check for a record on Auntie Greenleaf. I think I saw a phone near the back. Thanks. You're welcome, Sheriff. Is this office? This is Snow White. Hey, Snow. Oh, it's you. Sorry, I've been answering angry phone calls for hours. People want to know who Crane is. <sighs> no address yet, but I got a name for Crane's witch, Auntie Greenleaf. You heard of her? No. I'll get Buffkin started looking for a record, but it might take some time. Huh. Somebody's got to know where to find her. And Snow, I found a note with some money attached. Crane has been embezzling from Fable Town. Of course, because why half-ass being a complete sleazeball? Do you think this is tied to the murders? I mean, I guess it doesn't matter, but... I don't know. Maybe. You might want to try Holly's place, see if she hasn't burned Lily's things yet. Or Cranes, you might find something there. Although Bluebeard's been there. I'll leave it up to you, but we don't have much time. Crane is meeting her at 2 a.m. He's acting pretty weird. I'll go to the trip trap, see about Lily's things. I think that's our best option. Sounds good. Just just be gentle with Holly when you get there, okay? <sighs> I'm always gentle. I'll give Buffkin a name and hope you find something in the record. Let me know what he comes up with. I'll be in touch. I hope you'll do the same. We'll catch him, Snow. Bigby, I have to go. Someone just came in. Good luck. Oh, is it frozen? Oh, no. It's fine. <laughs> He's asleep, you fucking idiot. He didn't even give me a chance. Guys, it's me, Bigby. <coughs> hey, look, Woody, it's the sheriff. <coughs> okay, okay, before you get all huffy, it was Snow who let me go, all right? 
It just, there was no sense in me staying in jail. She, she said so herself. Don't soil yourself, Woody. I'm sure he understands. And if he doesn't, he can take it up with the missus later. Luckily for you, I don't have the time to get pissed off about this right now. Well, come Pretty on subtle, in, either, sir. buddy. Brent, what? He's a traveler. A weary traveler in search of some hospitality, right? Yeah, sure. Thanks. I feel like this can't go on. This ah, uh, what? I feel like this won't end well. I want a drink. Anybody else want a drink? Friend, Swinehart said you shouldn't mix you it. You think with... I give a fuck what that fucking guy says or what you say? <laughs> Brent, he's drunk as fuck. I shouldn't drink right now. Have you seen Lily's things? What wasn't burned at the funeral? Um. Is that stuff supposed to be here, or...? Nope, haven't seen it. Holly's asleep in back, but you won't be able to wake her. Really? Well, the doc gave him both barmesidal ambrosia for the pain. Look, the deal is, if you resist going to sleep like I am right now, it gives you a very, very, very nice high. And he said that he shouldn't Pop mix it with alcohol. Up. He's proper fucked yes, up. Yes, he did. Certainly did. Well, let me tell you something. There's no way to wake her up. Ah, uh, no. Anyways, the doctor gave me strict orders to let the fine woman sleep. She's had a very traumatic experience. That funeral back there, that was a shitty fucking send-off for a pretty okay lady. Yeah. You weren't fucking there. That's no, pretty brutal. Talking to Bigby now, okay? Can't say you being there helped things much. Gren, don't start nothing. Who's starting anything? You think I shot up the place? It wasn't my fault. They got away though, didn't they? Whatever. It's all right. I'm too out of it to get into it. I want to yeah, clear the air. Up. We're all in this dung heap of a fucking shit town together. And we're all gonna have a toast. All of us. Fellas, I'm here for one thing. To look through Lily's belongings and get out of here. Now, yeah, I yeah, I know, I know. And I want to help you, okay? And I will. First, indulge me. It'll take two seconds. As a show of good faith. And after, we'll all hunt and peck for Lily's shit or whatever. Friend, Bigby didn't come here to get loaded with you. To the dead. <laughs> to the dead. All right, now help me. Gren, the doc said you needed to rest. How many times are you fucking gonna warn me about it, huh? You're not my fucking, fucking mother, so just get off my back! I said I was sorry, alright? I can't do anything about it, it's done! Damn. What more do you want? What else can I fucking say here? Cut this Put shit, shit out. Now. I don't care what it's about. Oh, I forgot. You haven't heard the news. This walking lard cake was paying Holly's sister to let him fuck her behind all of our backs. And Holly had to find out going through all of her sister's shit. What fun that must have been. Trick after trick of this fat ass and Lily. I didn't plan for that, all right? And our thing, whatever it was, it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't. I never fucked her when she was snowing. I didn't know nothing about that. No, but you knew Holly would flip out. And you knew for a damn good fucking reason. You know what? Fuck this. I don't need this shit. Oh yeah, that's it. Now you're teary-eyed. 
You were always such a low life. I don't know why I never realized it until now. Well, what do you think about this fucking loser, Sheriff? He can think whatever he wants. I don't give a shit. No, that's okay, because I'll tell you what he thinks. Wait, wait. I've got some questions for you. What possible questions could you have for this piece of shit? Everything's a problem when I want to talk, but when the woodsman's about to leave, it's, oh, wait, I have questions. What do you want? You're sure there's nothing else you want to tell me? I'm sure as fucking sugar. There's nothing going on. Should ask about the witch. Hello, well. Gren. I don't know where Lily's shit is. Check Holly's room, I don't know. But I wouldn't wake her if I were you. Sleepwalkers and trolls. I think that's the role. Maybe, uh, ogres, too. I thought you said you would help me look. Actually, Big B, if you'll excuse me, it seems that I'm gonna pass out. What a day. <coughs> yeah, pretty right, simple. Sheriff? Pretty subtle, yeah. What a fucking day. Just gonna pass out. I feel like this won't end well. She out. Yeah, grab some shit, you know. Grab some random ass shit. <sighs> that you, Woody? <sighs> Woody? No, Holly. It's me, Big B. Big B. Boss closed. And excuse me, but I'm not in the mood for entertaining. But what the fuck? I know you're not gonna leave. You do what you want. You always do what you want. Fuck it, why not? Let's just keep a going. Was that one do of the twins? Give a shit in the picture. Us, the strays. The ones that aren't in that fancy high-rise. Those of us that gotta work for a living. You may not believe this, but... Yeah, I care about everyone who came over. I don't know about that, Sheriff. You're friends yeah. with your friends. And we ain't friends. Yeah, look there. Isn't that like one of the twins? In the photo. Why'd you even come here? There's nothing here to investigate. I can't be any use to you. I need to, uh, look through your sister's things. Yeah, I'm being completely honest to here. look for clues? Um, if you want to put it that way. Am I gonna find anything? Ooh. Be honest, Sheriff. Why are you going after him? The guy that killed Lily. You could have quit a long time ago, but you're still going. Why? 
Did they give you this job for a reason? Or was this the only thing the business office would let you do? I'm doing this for Faith. Well, at least you're honest. You just remember, whatever bullshit excuse you tell yourself, I'm counting on you. So don't have any more fuck-up. Well, okay then. We're getting your glamour on this day. That was One of these has to be pretty weird. Anti-Greenleaf. Gotcha. Hello, this is Snow White calling. I'm looking for Bigby. Is anyone there? Bigby, if you're there, pick up, okay? Snow? Oh, thank God. Tell me you found something. I got it, Snow. Her address was here with Lily's things. It's on uh, White Plains Avenue, 1284. It's an apartment complex. Great. All right, let's go. I don't want to miss him. I'll meet you there. All right, I'll see you there. Well, okay then. Off to an apartment. Yeah, me too. It's number 23. I haven't seen it. Well, okay. I'm just going to be right back. Just going to get a drink.
Okay, so I'm back. Oh, <sighs> just got myself a drink. Late. Yeah, I know. Good, I'm gonna look for a game. This is it. Yeah. Okay. All right. How do you want to do this? I'm just gonna go and see look for a game over a playroom. Oh. Auntie Greenleaf, I need you to open this door right now. Oh. Damn. Hello. What the fuck? Hi. You woke me up. Oh, sorry about that. Who are you? Rachel, who are you? Just so we're not strangers. Well, I'm the sheriff, and this is my partner. Boss. Pleased to meet you. How do you do? Is there, um, is there anything you need? Is Auntie Greenleaf at home? Does she live here? You mean my mom? She ever, you know, make the nightstand levitate, turn frogs into cats, that kind of thing? Is she a witch, dear? No, I would never call my mommy that. She treats me all right. Is there um, something you want? Snow, can you just do something here? I I never have any idea what to well, say to these people. You mean children? <sighs> Do you mind so I'm my pretty, friend here takes a look pretty around? Pretty subtle. I promise we'll be quick so you can hurry back to bed. Look okay, that's pretty I've weird just walking in. Night. Nobody's been here. Okay, boss. I'm gonna trust your friend not to break anything. Don't get me in trouble. Look for anything unusual. Yeah, like Crane. He could still be here. So let, first, let's start with that. That looks fucking weird. Oh no, she never. That was found in the woods around Dick's Mountain, I think. It's pretty rare to see a burner like this. Dowdy. That's how we like it. Is it proper word? Let me guess. Big band or classical? Honky tonk. Is this allegory? No accounting for taste. Oh, okay. Oh, no. That your mom? Uh huh. No! Look at this bush. Mommy uses that to carve a trinket. It's from the old world. Trinket? So I'm looking at a bush now. Um, like glamours? There's no one here but me. What bit? Oh, I don't know, probably. No one's been over all night, so. He's just going to check. It Butcher. What's that? A package having to do with someone called yep. the Butcher. I saw one just like it at the Tweedle's office. <coughs> Nothing that well, looks okay, like Crane was here either. Pretty, pretty weird. See? Was I a Where do you buy your clothes? How much longer do you that think it'll be? God damn it. I shouldn't say yeah. that. Nothing. I keep getting whiffs of that aftershave of his. I do too. Can I go to bed now, please? Yeah, definitely something's unusual. Is that a glamour tube? Mommy really doesn't let anyone play with that. Trust me, I've tried. Oh no 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 no! 
please, 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 just put that back exactly where you found it. No one is allowed to play with it's that. It's all right, honey. Bigby's not going to break no, it. you don't understand. She will freak out if she discovers I've let people in here and let them touch her stuff, okay? She checks all the time to see if things move. I don't want to get in trouble. Look, I'm already grounded. I'm not going to break it. I just want to open it. No! Put it down! Please, don't! This isn't what you think! You gotta believe me! The guy isn't here, I promise! It's gonna be okay, Rachel. Please, I'm begging you. I don't wanna... I don't wanna get in trouble. Time to waste on this shit? Think this is some kind of game? No, I don't. But congratulations on winning it, if that matters to you. All right, start explaining. And from the beginning. Where's Crane? Speak quickly. I ain't a fortune teller, Wolf. I have no heavenly idea where he went to. You have to know something. Unless you want a recipe for owl stew, there's nothing I know that would help. I'd be very... Very careful if I were you. Yeah, stop nice being pretty sincere, girl. you know. You have a lot to learn on how to treat a lady. Greenleaf? When I was starving and homeless and out on the streets, nobody gave three sticks of thought about me. And now I'm supposed to care what you want. Yeah. If I helped you, yeah, you meant to. strung up on the Statue of Liberty before the morning commute. No thanks. There's powers at work here beyond your pathetic authority. Whatever it is, Greenleaf, whatever it is that's keeping you from saying something... I don't give a shit about your problems, Greenleaf. Just talk, now. You have no idea what's going on, do you? Okay, you know what I think? I think we've been more than patient with you. This witch has been selling illegal glamours that continue to undermine everything we've built. She's harboring a fugitive that took advantage of it, and now she's resisting every attempt to make things right. I frankly don't give a crap. If she's afraid for her life, we can at least make sure she never hurts us again. We're destroying the tree. No! How dare you come in here and threaten to take from me the one thing that... That tree is ancient. It's part of the well, family, and it's the only thing paying for this shithole apartment. And the fables who can't afford the glamours from you come to me for help. Without them, where do you think they could go? Don't give me that. You're making money off of other people's misery. Two fables are dead because of this crap. It's too dangerous leaving this stuff with her. You think I like being the old woman in these stories? The men are heroes, the ladies are whores, and the old hags like me get to watch everyone they love die. We have very different Pretty subtle eyes. handling our fate. Very different means to handle it too and i don't use it as an excuse to wreck people's lives i'm sorry sheriff but please greenleaf snow's right the tree has to go no look look i'll tell you i'll tell you crane was here he was here and he left he went to the pudding and well, pie to try to use my ring on the girls over there to get information what does the ring do he thinks it's the ring of dispel you know that will pierce the protection around the girl's speech he says pulling the truth out of them will prove his innocence. It won't. Damn thing lost its power decades ago. Just please, you can catch him if you leave, okay? Just leave. And don't... Don't burn my tree. I didn't even say so. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. Don't destroy it, please. This whole story of yours better check out. I will. No, but I hate both. We can always come back later. <laughs> Even after I told you everything? That's it? She's off the hook? Come on, we have to get to Crane while he's still there. Hey, Greenleaf. No. Don't think this is over. Oh, damn, the sass. I won't. Oh, damn. This shit's about to turn over. Chapter 5 
bit. There we go. That's Crane's car. No, it's nothing you need to concern yourself with. I don't think so, at least. Hold on. Oh, did you miss a spot? Mr. Clean, come to smash up the rest of my place. Damn. Oh, I see. Come to audition, you bitch. Where's Where's Crane? Ichabod Crane? What would that nerd have with a place like this? Oh, you hey, got shoved that way. We have a problem. No, tell me who did it. Just tell me who did it. I know you know. Mr. Crane, please. She can't help. I know you know what the plan is. I won't be held accountable for this. I can't. I can't. I'm sorry. I. Oh my God. Big B. Wait, don't. <laughs> oh, pretty pussy. Do anything. Girls, they'll back me up. I j just have to get the stupid ring working, that's all. They can't talk because of that spell. But once this ring gets through, I'll know what's going on and this whole thing will be over. That's sure. all. Please. I'm innocent. Completely, completely innocent. It's just... Just let me show you. The ring won't work. Green leaves sold you out. What? No. This will work. I assure you, it, it must. I... I went to... You. you come on, please tell me who killed her. Well, this is pointless. Lips are sealed. <laughs> oh, we crying, crying on the floor. How many years? <laughs> what? How many years has this been going on? Two. Too many. But I didn't kill those women. Please, I had nothing, nothing to oh, do. Oh, sure you didn't. I just, I, well, actually, you might have. Oh God. Found photos, yeah. I found the photos of you and Lily. I know, I know. That's that was. I just. You were so weird. You snow. I love, I love you, and, and I'm weird. sorry. I'm not Prince Charming, okay? Oh, this I'm bit's sorry weird. I didn't cheat on you and run away to Europe. You don't love me, Crane. I know what this is. I've seen it before. It is Damn. not love. She just shot him down. Bigby? I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? He's not. I don't he know. Be brave enough. What do you mean? You don't think he did it at all? If you'd seen the room, I don't need to see the room. There's a lot he has to answer for. There's a lot we all have to answer for. This is different, Snow, and you know it. You said you found evidence of him defrauding no Fabletown, of using our money for his own ambitions. That's one thing. But don't you have doubts he's a murderer? We've both known him for so long. I can't believe I'm hearing this. Did you see how he was acting when you showed up? Yes, I know how this... Why would he even come here if he wasn't um, covering his tracks? What should I? He thought he was being framed. And maybe he is. This fuck-up knows more than he's saying. I don't. I don't! Uh, yes, okay, he probably does. But there's a difference between being involved okay. and being the guy who did Slightly it. Slightly weird. Okay, but if Crane didn't kill Faith and Lily... I'm sorry, but who the hell did? You know, when I saw you come back here... We'll find out who did it soon enough. Just trust us, Vivian. I didn't intend for any of this to get so... You've been stealing money from Fabletown for years, haven't you? Damn. Yeah. Yep. We're not gonna kill you, so quit your shivering. Ichabod Crane, you are under arrest for the misappropriation of Fabletown funds. You have the right to counsel, the right to depose witnesses, but as of right now, you're coming with us. 
You are <laughs> yeah, extraordinarily yeah. lucky Miss White was here to save your ass. Because if it was up to me, Ooh. I'd have your head swinging from the Washington Bridge. Okay, Sheriff, that's enough. Damn. This can't Snow be really shut again, him down. Again, behaving however you like, acting without constraint. You have to respect this office, Bigby. And you have to respect me as its leader. Starting now. You think you have what it takes to run that office? You think I didn't make sacrifices? Hmm? I made sacrifices. And you won't yeah. be in that chair one minute before you have to give up something. About just so the wheels don't fall off the goddamn wagon. I did the best I could with what I had. I really want to break his nose. Um. Out of me. If I maybe took a little something back in return. No, I want to be nice. I want to be nice, you know. Long time. Well, okay then. saying oh you just got shut down shut down well what's about to happen Okay. Run for the exit then. Or not. Hi. What you got there? Look. It's recently come under our attention that you're, how shall I put this, attempting to claim what is the personal property of the Crooked Man. He's about yay high, 120 odd pounds, pissed his sheets until he was 14. Sound familiar? I haven't told him anything. Not now, not now. Shh. The grown-ups are talking. Who are you? Who are you? No, 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 no. That's not how this works. How this works is you are going to walk Crane over here, like a good doggy. It wasn't my fault. <clears throat> Shut up. You're interfering with official Fabletown business. Step aside. Tweedledee, what's the, uh, you know, that thing the Mundies call me? Wh what? My nickname. You know what I'm talking about. Who the fuck knows? Uh... Bloody, Bloody Mary. Mary, that's it. Thank you. And do you know why they call me that? Because some of them, they think it's funny to have their little sleepovers and go into their little bathrooms and say my name five times in the mirror. They find it less funny when I actually show up and feed their lungs to the family dog. <laughs> and I do that for a hobby. Like golf, to relax. This is my job. I like my job. This was no, really wrong day. the wrong day to try and pull this shit. Yeah, that's right. I told you he'd never just give him up. I kill the games. Fuck. <sighs> How long have I been streaming for? <laughs> Five hours, maybe. Oh, I just got. Oh, oh. wrong decision. <laughs> Uh, nothing. Big B? Oh, <laughs> I'm about to get angry. 
and spam the shit. Ooh, I'm getting angry. I'm getting angry. <laughs> I'm getting angry. Yeah. I'm getting angry, I'm about to fuck some kids up. Spam the shit. Spam more shit. <laughs> <laughs> the big bad wolf is coming out. <laughs> Ooh. I just fucked. I just fucked the wolf. <laughs> You just fucked up, mate. <laughs> like how she's just chilling. You know, like, like, uh, doesn't care. <laughs> you know, just chilling. Ooh. Definitely pissed him off, you know. I let him go, I'm a good guy. You know I'm a good guy. <laughs> Damn! Shit just got fucking lit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good choice. They just didn't know when to end. Oh, loving that axe. You know, you wouldn't think Silverbolt is anything but a pure werewolf. But as it turns out, it's just a piece. Come on, spam it. All right. All right. I mean, hey, oh, yeah. look, I know it sounds ridiculous, but really, guys, <laughs> can you argue with these results? Come oh, come on. Because I know I can't. Come on. Wait! Stop! Oh. Oh. What's about to happen? Just take him, okay? Take Crane. Just stop, please. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Uh. Snow. Uh, yeah, stay, stay out, out of it. Of <laughs> it's your lucky day. So man. casually. Crooked man says it's okay with him. Hello, well, that was exciting. Got a ache? <sighs> I'm fucked up. <laughs> I'm fucked up. Oh, and just between us girls, Green ain't no killer. I mean, look at his face. Couldn't stick a pig if his life depended. <laughs> Bloody Mary, eh? Fucking Kinda like your boyfriend here. Too pussy to ruin a tweedle's day. Well, this Ooh. is a beautiful relationship we have with you guys. You know, she brought me on. I'm jazzed about it. Don't you? Out with the old, in with the new. Long with the queen. I'm sure we'll be in touch. 
See you around. Well, that was exciting what just happened. <laughs> oh, my arm's fucked. What did I just agree to? Something that you can't do. What are you on about? Crooked. Oh, fucking hell. Lucky Holy shit. And he won't be next time I am pretty like this. Pretty bad. This is worse by the minute. We don't have time to sit around and wait for their next move. I'll get things under control. <sighs> Woody, I'm not gonna tell you again. Back off, dog. This doesn't concern you. What do you want to talk about? I just wanted So that was a pretty good episode. About last night. After what they did to you? Are you even going to be able to stop them? Don't hold out on me, Jack. You've always got some angle. Not I'm this freezing. I know when a mark's not worth the trouble. Really. Oh. Do you? Shut up. Don't come near me. Don't let me come down okay. there, do you? I don't want it. You don't want it. You <laughs> 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 don't have much choice at this point, do you? <laughs> okay, Mary's in my dream. Well, okay. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Big boost dream. Oh. So, I'm actually enjoying this, you know. Shut up, Josh. Let's play the other episode. How many episodes? That's that. Okay, episode... Episode four. This is gonna be fun. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family <laughs> of glamour? I can't <sighs> finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Crane must have taken a shot. The open arms. I wonder how long this is going to take to upload on my thanks, YouTube. <laughs> and thanks for covering for me last time, too. Big B? How could you do this to me? I guess I, I finally see you for who you are. Tell me who did it. Oh. Just tell me who did it. I know you know. Oh. I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Well, really thanks for uh, following. Just got a email that you followed. Thank you. This guy called uh, Killer Games. Huh? No. No, just don't. You can go on my Twitch if you want. And it's good. Oh my god. Take Crane. Well, this is a beautiful. Oh. You guys, really? I need it. He just put you out. Out with the old. Yeah, I gave it to you. Yeah. Don't do anything stupid with it, as I was. I'm just gonna. <laughs> yeah. I am Dorco, you know how he's got a million and million stuff. <laughs> really? I've still got it on Steam. <laughs> Dying. Okay. Oh my god. Holy shit, that's out. What the hell? Oh, okay, yeah, this is what a killer game is on about. She's in me dream. Hollow <laughs> point no bullets clue. are a Find nasty out. business. The silver slug deformed and shredded on impact. 
He'll be okay, though. <laughs> Over time, you are. Right? He'll be okay. No, it's okay. Internal organs are positively. He is proper fucked up, though. If I don't extract every single scrap of silver, he's liable to suffer some long-term toxicosis. I'm freezing. Wait, how do you? Got some money? Okay. I do not know. I do not know how to use that. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did tell me, and I don't know what to do. Who? No, no, no. What do I do? Do I have to, like, give him money or something? You are. I have no clue. What? Okay. How do I. What do I do? It's not like it's. Uh Yeah. Yeah, it is glitched. So I'll just This is how I fixed it last time on another episode. So I'll just quickly do that. No, it's just glitched. Ah. I definitely want to start streaming a lot more though. I love streaming. So streaming. Huh? Get a soda stream. Waste your money. Okay. <laughs> oh, don't have to sit through this. Oh well. Only short. Oh. I still can't even manage to track you, Josh. <laughs> See you around. Please don't be glitched again. PowerPoint bullets are a nasty business. The silver slug deformed and shredded on impact. He'll be okay, though. Hmm? He'll be okay? His internal organs are positively riddled. If I don't extract every single scrap of silver, he's liable to suffer some long-term toxicosis. Easy there. Try not to move. Yeah. <sighs> we can't go this way, old boy. Just imagine that actually happens to your arm just like but there's little I can do yeah. pain. What happened just to me? Still let me my arm. Let's just put my arm. <laughs> yes, very ugly. But not life threatening. I can't say the <gasps> Me pokes are loose throughout your vital organs. Please, Big B, don't oh, that's move it. Doctor. That's minging. Look, I'm a bit engaged. His arm is just like, at the moment. Ugh. But if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can set it himself. Oh. For heaven's sake. Oh. See now, that wasn't so oh, that, oh, that, oh, that made me cringe. <laughs> oh. That'll do. You're probably better off. This way I won't have to reset it later. He's lucky to be alive. And he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. He didn't listen to me before. Maybe he'll listen to you. I don't know about that. <laughs> I can hear you. I can't hear you. <laughs> Quiet. Just relax. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Excuse me, Miss White, but... Perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with him. 
I, I think I should stay, at least until he's out of the woods. Believe me, Bigby couldn't be in better hands, and I need the space to work, so if you wouldn't mind... I'll be fine. So, uh, I'll, be, oh, okay. I'll be fine. Just chilling out. We'll be down in a moment. Yeah, Just please. Just chilling. Grilling? No, I'm not grilling. Okay. Hey, Doc, how much longer? Colin, leave him be. It's finished. It's, it's finished. Colin. Because I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in 10 minutes flat. Colin, I'm not even supposed to be here right yeah, now. Yeah, it oh, sort really? of. Where am I supposed can to be? Explain I'm myself, here you know. to take care of my friend. She, you know. With what? Colin, shut up. Colin. Shut up, Colin. Shut the hell up, will you? Yeah, that <laughs> would be helpful. Yeah, it wouldn't really surprise me if, if she did. All done. Great. This isn't a habit you should keep to. Having visits with me. And, well, this time... This time oh, is no joke. All bandaged up. Ready to go. As you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart. And the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Just... Miss White. You'll be fine for light duty. If he can figure out what that oh. means. He knows what it means. For you then. It's just been an unusual couple of days. I know, but please don't give him the excuse. His body okay. will eventually give out. Take care of him, please. Still can't believe I stayed up all night just streaming this. It's a long time sleep most. Just keep watch. Mm -hmm. Make sure he doesn't get into further altercations. I'll try. I don't need a babysitter. I need a babysitter. And look after myself. I'm a big boy. I'm a big boy now. Anyways, guard against, as they say. Miss White, Sheriff, Colin. Swiney. Colin. Fuck's sake, Colin. So, how do you, um, feel it's big B snow he'll be okay hell I seen him take worse not as good as can be expected <laughs> yeah, it's fine so, I don't not well it's not like I don't really care about spoilers really you had us <clears throat> you had us worried there for a while yeah I don't really care about spoilers it's like it don't really bother me you, uh, like I'm movies, it doesn't really you know, bother me if people spoil them. Passed out or, or died, I guess. It, um, it kind of scared the hell out of me. I've never seen you like that, and when Swineheart arrived, I'm a tough yeah, cookie. Pretty hard to kill. I'm a tough cookie. Yeah, you were really fucked up, man. You look like when you take an action. Colin, and you fuck off. The limbs the wrong way. Colin, I'm just saying I was worried about him. Is all? The guy hasn't had a night's rest do, in days. Do, 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 well, I'll get some do. rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have like a plan or something? And who should I be asking? Should I be worried about the crooked man taking over, or is Crane still the? Ah, uh, okay. Oh, I didn't. I was reading you. <laughs> reading your comment. <laughs> Whoops. Crooked man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack. Yeah, it wouldn't really surprise me. That. He either feels invincible or desperate. Well, if those are my two options, I don't think I'd pick desperate. I just don't know what, what I'm gonna do. You I'm gonna... You Crane to save Big B. I don't know if I'm gonna I'm edit my video after exactly I finish this. You when you're playing with house money. Oh. So he called my bluff. It's not like I'm gonna let bloody Oh, I'm just gonna go murder. straight to sleep. Yeah. Uh, thanks, Snow. For all that back there. No problem. Thanks? You're not pissed that Crane's flown the coop? Oh, uh, no. Crooked man thinks he's got snow under his thumb. We're all mad about it, Colin. But it's not like we had a strong choice in the matter. Yeah, fuck it. Of course I'm pissed. Cares, but what's done is done. Okay, okay. Exactly. I move on. I'll move on quickly. Right now is just what does the crooked man want out of this? I thought he was just a loan shark, but clearly he's operating in other circles. It can't just be about Crane, right? 
getting him out of town? Is this all about the You marks? have way too much Faith time. can't be useful to him anymore. So what could this have to do with Faith and me? Okay, um... Well, How can long has this been going on? Oops. I accidentally punched the mic. From the looks of things, it's been going uh, on for quite a while. Step. The Crooked Man declared war well, okay. against us last night. Fair enough. At least that's what I thought when it happened. Fair now enough. I see this war has been going on for years. Do we do just do haven't do noticed do it do because do our do way of doing things is broken. We need to do things the right way. What does that mean, the right way? What do you think I mean? I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds like your way. Look. Call him. I Fuck off. Things haven't gone great recently. But we're still doing our best. That's not good enough. So, oh, I got shut now, down. We do everything cut and dried, by the book, straight as an arrow. Pure as driven snow. I'm not saying I'm the arbiter of. Sure, you're not. This town has enough monsters. What happened last night, what you turned into, it can't happen again. We need monsters to fight monsters. Colin, if I really believed that we needed him to lose his flippin' mind at a moment's notice... I'm sure from your vantage point, it's extraordinarily easy to judge me. Big B. But you sit behind a desk all day. <coughs> Only tonight did you see what it's like to be pushed into a corner all the time just for doing Whoa, your job. go open the door. I don't know what it's like to have my life in danger. Release the pokes. To not be pushed to do things. I know what it's like. And I know what it's like to lie to yourself, to justify what you've done. So don't talk to me like I'm other people. Look, Bigby, I care about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Hell, I'm practically the president of the Bigby Don't Be Such a Dick Club. Well, at least so Thanks, Colin. understands. Thanks, Colin. He'll get the job done. Just let him do it. I'm going to... I'm going to let you do it, okay? It's just that... Now that I'm Deputy Mayor, I need your respect. <coughs> and this situation has to end. What situation? All unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay at the floor. Oh, give me a fucking break. Are you gonna let her talk to me like that? It's been the rule for a reason, Colin. And Bigby knows it's for the Calm down, everybody. Town. Calm down. Everyone pipe down. Calm down all right? Pipe, 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 calm. pipe, pipe down. I'm not. Tell me right now. What's it gonna be, Bigby? Wolf's residence. That's rude. Oh, Buffkin, what is it? Okay. I'll let him know. Thanks. Guess who's waiting in your office right now? Nerissa. Nerissa? That broad from the pudding and pie? Yes. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about. But that she'll only tell you. And what do you think that could be? Uh, Bigby's Ooh. got an admirer. You always do well with the... Uh, yeah, maybe it's about the fire. She did see me. She probably just wants to talk about Shut last up. night. The whole thing at the pudding and pie. Maybe. I should get back to the business oh, office. Ban me. I've left you Buffkin alone yourself. for too yeah, long. Yeah, you can ban to yourself. <laughs> and I should probably change out of these clothes. You know, I can just... Consider the discussion tabled, but not over. Let me know when you're done with Nerissa. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> She's a piece of work. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? I mean, yeah. she seemed real serious about it, but I can still hang out here, right? Look, uh, I wouldn't do that to you, Colin. Not buds, me and Colin, Colin are. I wouldn't do that to you. Don't worry about it. Thanks, Bigby. Do 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 do. Ho. 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 Ho.
jamming music. Why are you like touching my screen for? That's good. Okay. Come on then. Episode four. Hi, Sheriff. Hi, Narissa. Have a seat. Okay. What are we going to talk about? This is awkward. Um, <laughs> awkward silence. Are you okay? You didn't look good last night. I wasn't sure you'd be. Well, let's just say I've been better. I've been better, you know. <laughs> Huff and puffs. Not many people smoke those. Oh, you just got shut down. What was that back there uh, with the green? Really? I wanted you to tell me something. You know, it's not too late to talk. There's not Come a on, lot man. that I can talk about. You know that. So that spell crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work, huh? Do, 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 do. What I mean is, I don't want to waste your time, but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Oh, thanks. At the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for. And you found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again. You can try. I just... Go ahead. It <coughs> might work. Crane wasn't the murderer. The open arms was a setup. You sent me there. Is there someone else you wanted me to find there? Okay. These lips are sealed. Damn. If I could answer you just like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. Sometimes, we have to find our way through life on our own, grasping and fumbling in the dark. I... Really? I used to have friends to help me find my way. I don't know about but that. But now, might be wrong. They're gone, and I don't know what to do. But she could be. Are you trying to say something about Faith and Lily? What I'm saying is, friends matter, and I, I don't have any left. So I hope I don't know you're looking after yours. I don't know if, mm, Are you? Look out for everyone. Uh, look around you. But my friend. Are you telling me my friends are involved? <sighs> I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. I need you to know I want to help, but. But. It's okay. Take your time. Yeah. I can sort of see that. I'm sorry. I can sort of see the resemblance. Time. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too. Huh? Do you like it? Hmm. Huh? <coughs> Do you? It was. It is 
beautiful. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? Damn. It's all the ribbon's fault. Fuck's sake, ribbons. Move the ribbon. I just... No! It flips your seal! <laughs> what? You can't! That's you. Just stay back! Fucking hell. You can't do that. Slow down. It's alright. I'm not gonna do anything. You flip the fuck out. Please. Yeah. Don't. <sighs> okay. I get it. So the ribbons, if you take them off. Sorry. I wish I could do something. Probably snow. Listen, Sheriff. Can you keep this conversation between us? I could be in a lot of trouble. What are you worried about? Just please don't say anything. I won't. I won't say nothing. Nothing. <laughs> oh, she pissed. Sorry. I just need to talk to the sheriff for a moment. She jealous. Me. I might have a new she jealous as fuck. I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. Uh, wait, you don't have to go. That was uh, abrupt. That's one way to send a message. Oops. What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. Did you get anything from her? She told Tell me enough. enough. I think she told both of us with the way she just left. Okay then. Good work. So, about Beauty and Beast, do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to oh. look? What could they Definitely, know about yeah. the Crooked Man? Or do you think they just heard about last night? Well, whatever it is. Uh, sure the, what's it called? Suppose I better My go sleep check is it out. Uh, getting to me now. Hmm. You know, Beauty came to me a while boom, ago. Boom, boom. She was looking for <laughs> financial assistance. That's a very I subtle life. I could do, and, and she said that meant okay, she that's very to subtle. <laughs> Bigby, you don't think she meant that she was going to go to the Crooked Man, do you? That would explain why they called. We need to solve this before something else happens. Who knows what? I have other matters to attend to. Whew. So happy I didn't try to put face cam on this. Oh, look awful. I look fucking awful. Once upon a time. Okay. There you go. You want to tell me what you were into either. Good reason. Look what happened. So that's back on me now. I thought we agreed that was settled. You said it was. Oh, what do you want? Well, you're just going around knocking on doors? You called. Right? You called, bitch. Or, uh, was it beauty? Why would I call you? No, you don't say. Listen, I've had a shitty night. Don't you think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. Can I? So have you, Bigby. 
Yet, with all the sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. I had to hear about it all night long from her. Who is it? Who's there? Beast? You don't want to talk. Can you just get beauty for me? I don't know. Is it safe? Well, I didn't to see that coming. Back? Really? She works for the cooking man? Didn't it's see your that. Pal, Big B. Hi, Big B. Please excuse us for just a minute. Can I talk to you in private? Yes. Let's. Well, okay then. Hmm. I guess I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. I can already tell you're going to make a problem out of it. massive. Here. We don't need to bring him into the beast. I just don't think we can trust him. look at this. The way he went behind my back. And then you can call him again? Well, I trust mm. him. Of course you do. Talk about living in the past. One well. thing. Do you want to keep fighting about that? Yeah, that's why I almost knock it over. <laughs> We're out of money and answers. That's why I called. We'll finish this later, but we need to talk to Big B. Fine. If you want to talk, we'll talk. Oh, thanks for letting us finish our conversation. All right. Cock for doing that. Sorry, it's been a long night. Yeah, you know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. I gotta say, your place, it looks, uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? Beast! No, really, I wanna know. What are you trying to say, huh? Nothing. It's a nice place you got here. Thanks, but that's really not why I called. Snow told me you went to her for some financial help. Did you end up going to the <sighs> man. So I didn't know what else to do. We so should deal with stream for six own. hours, Maybe I think. Just going to complicate I called him here and I want to see if he can help us out. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. That's all I ever do. I'd like to help you, but I can't do anything if you don't tell me what's going on. I gotta know one thing first. What if we did have something to say about the crooked man? What if we talk and you don't get him? And all this comes back on us? We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the crooked man. I can protect you, but only if you tell me what I need to know. And that means details. No more stonewalling. We are. Then just tell me what's going on here. Look, we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle, okay? We couldn't just get it. Up. I never meant for it to Come end on. like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn, and we got in over our heads. There's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like. Way to pick a conversation on that phone. <laughs> Uh, let me just, uh... A day at the beach? Skiing the slopes? <laughs> uh, finish this conversation first? I should right get now, that. So Come leave on. a message at the beep and we'll get back to you as soon as... <laughs> <laughs> Humanly possible. Beep! That fucking message. I'm gonna come down there and bash your heads in with that machine if I have to call again and hear that fucking message one more time. Damn. I've been doing this long enough to know that if you had the cash, you'd have paid by now. So consider yourselves out of warnings. It's time to start thinking about how else you can settle this. Who is that? The crooked man's gonna get his, one way or another. Dun dun dun! All I care about is, how can I find the crooked man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? The Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The Crooked Man's behind that place. <laughs> I'd overheard cool. people talking to Jersey about loans before. Yeah. So, 
when I needed <sighs> money. Did you ever see the, the crooked, crooked man? man? When you got your loan, or just shopping? No, never. But come on, it's his place, and the Jersey Devil never lets you forget it. I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I guess he's hit hard times, too. There's a lot of that going around. Fucking Bloody Mary must go through there. She had Woody's axe last night. Trying to chop my damn head off with it. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. I guess I'll go some check people. out the lucky <laughs> no. If I can't track down the crooked man there, maybe I can make go. noise. That the crooked man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... You know that butcher shop, the cut above? It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the crooked man. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. You, you gotta understand, I need it work. <laughs> you have to well, I'll be prepared. <laughs> you didn't think it would get like this. Well, ugly. We're decent people, Bigby. How did you get well, it? Well, ugly, I'll be prepared. Johan the Butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. And it's the only thing I've been able to pick up. And it's still not enough. I don't want Beauty to have to work, especially not where she was. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. But I've seen her around there. She gets under my skin, you know. I try to avoid her. But I don't need to tell you what she's doing. Damn right you don't. I don't need a right down. Oh, I'm getting pissed. If Mary works um, out there, I need to look into it. Hmm. I just wanted to provide for beauty, give her the kind of life she deserves. We Damn. shouldn't have to live like this, scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a I little bit like out. home. You wouldn't understand, Bigby. No. Probably not. Well, so this is where are you going? I'm just want to get to the. If this all goes sideways, I want to go like to somewhere. It's coming from. Don't put it on. Remember, I've got. Um. The luck. I'm going to the lucky pond. Too much going on there to ignore. I'll have a word or two with Jersey. You know, Bigby, once you show your face there, word is going to get out. There may be nothing left to see if you go to the butcher shop after. Well, I guess. Good luck, I made the wrong out. decision. But I will. Wait. I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the crooked man, but is there any way you could help us out? What do you mean? Well. Maybe you can make this all just go away. We would really appreciate it. <coughs> can you help us out? I'll handle it. I'm not gonna let that crooked bastard ruin any more lives. Oh, thank you, Big B. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. Yeah, I definitely feel like I made the wrong decision, but going to the lucky pawn. Oh well. Boom. Okay. How many chapters is? So there's always five, I think. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Dirty. No, it's not. It looks like you slept in it. In a pile of garbage. 
Jack, why are you... I've seen you take a torn purse for a tenner. Yeah, but I also got her phone number. I don't want your phone number. Ugh, oh, really? Whoa. Big B's here. Why are you never glamoured, Toad? Why is it so hard to just follow the rules? Look, I know some fables can switch from man to beast and back again, like changing shirts. But it's not so easy well, for the rest of us to look human, alright? And anyways, I'll try I'm taking the money right now. I'm not taking the coat. But it's magic! So? And it'd be covering a check I already wrote. Okay, well, that sounds like a your problem problem to me. Yeah, it is. And so I came here to sell it off. Can we, you know, move this along? I'm trying to, but this lousy git can't see a good deal even when it walks in on two little legs. So what's it gonna be? I don't know what to tell you. See if Cindy needs a coat. I, I don't know. <sighs> this is to pay for those bloody glamours, you know. You and your blinkered rules. If the witches didn't charge so fucking much, I wouldn't have to be in here dealing with this nonsense. The witches set their own prices, Toad, and the prices aren't set because of greed. Making a glamour is hard. The materials are rare. Spare me the lesson of new do economics. I don't want to hear it. I don't know what you're getting so steamed about. It shouldn't be that big of a shock that I'm not going to take an ass hair coat. No, I guess it shouldn't be, since this old bleeding operation's just a setup for one of his shady fucking loans. Ixnay on the own lays, okay, Og Frey? I mean, what kind of a game are you running here? Toad? You turn down people's stuff so you can peddle his shit? Shut. Up. You know this is a fucking crooked man place, right? Toad? He uses fancy boys like Jack here to squelch the honest businessman. Force him to lay on credit into servitude. High interest isn't servitude. And nobody's complained before. Who'd listen? Well, I'll leave you well, to your business. I'm sure you'll have a lot to talk about. Good luck with that glamour, Toad. Fuck off. Boop. You need the code. How the hell do you expect me to get a glamour then? It's not like I've got a lot of options, you know. Give two money, why not? I'll give you some money, all right? You've got to be kidding me. Do you even know how much a glamour costs? I've... I've never had to buy one. Keep your money, Sheriff. I've no patience for charity. <laughs> if you're gonna be out like this, can't you at least wear a bigger hat? You know, it's getting on to tell the difference. Do, 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 do. Between the business office don't have and to like a crooked man. Who you purport to yes. seek to protect us from? Back and shout loud. Don't. don't get screwed. Drop by any time. We're nothing like him. Really grows on you. Look, I work here sometimes for the extra cash. It's something stable. You know, between more entrepreneurial mounts. And before you ask, I've never seen the crooked man in here. Neither hide nor hair and all that. In fact, as Come far on. as I can tell, he's never even actually stepped foot in here. But Bloody Mary works for him. And the last time I saw her, she had the woodsman's axe. So? So the last time anybody else saw that axe, it was here. We'd never take something like that. <laughs> Is this really why you came down here? The woodsman's Oh, axe. my dog's scratching at the door, it's annoying. Because I don't know anything about it. That's so cute though, Karen. Okay, what do you want to know? There's more than just pawning going on here. You got the loans. What else? Maybe it's like a weapons locker too. Was the axe here? No. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I think I'd notice a giant mystical axe. And that's saying something, since, you know, I can sometimes miss the obvious. I'm just joking. I never miss anything. You wouldn't mind if I look around for a bit, then. And what if I did mind? Uh, got it. <laughs> Wrecked. Oh, don't say it's frozen. Mission failed. Listen, we'll get I gotta time. start closing up shop, so, uh... Close? It's the middle of the day. Yeah, what can I say? Jersey likes to run it on hours. And really, he'd be the one to talk to, so 
Can't you just swing by later? It really wouldn't be good for me if he sees your face when he walks in. So you're gonna look around a like bit. This is a crooked man place. Maybe something here will help me find him. <laughs> Can't you just Shut up, Jack. Jersey Devil isn't here to answer my questions. It also means he isn't here to get in my way. So I'm gonna take a look around. As long as I've got the elbow room. All right. Don't let me get in your way. I won't. Ooh, got lots of things to look around, finally. Squeeze, squeeze. Got me to keep squeeze, squeezing when you want to sleep. Sleep. Okay. <laughs> I thought you said you'd never take something like this. Uh, uh, what? You're a lying piece of shit, Jack. Oh, okay, come on, Bigby. That wasn't. The axe was right here all along. Now tell me what happened to it. I don't know anything about that. I don't, really. I mean, I don't work every day, so. Uh... Just tell me the truth. What happened to the axe? It was Mary. She took it, okay? That's all I know. That's all you know? You don't know she almost fucking killed me with it last <laughs> night? <laughs> no. No. I had no goddamn idea. Why'd she take it? Just to fuck with me. I think I'm crazy enough up. to ask for that. I'm not sticking my foot shut in that up. lawnmower, thank you. Shut up, Josh. For your sake, you better think of something to tell me. That's all I can tell you. I'm being straight here. I'm just part-time. I mean, it's Jersey who's the one who's into this stuff. He's one of the crooked man's boys, okay? And it'd be great if he was here to tell you all this, but he's not. So just... Jersey, don't... Don't give me that shit. What the fuck is the point of having a system if you're just gonna... Oh, shit's about to go down. But you, you're the guy who makes sure I'm the guy to keep shit in order, and that's it, Woody. Who closed the fucking gate? Jack? If you love your ex so fucking much, why'd you pawn it in the first fucking place, huh? I didn't pawn it, asshole. It was stolen from my apartment. And Grant said that he saw it here. Now tell me where it is right fucking now. Hiya, fellas. Christ. And this fucking guy, too? Bigby? What is his axe even here? Nope. It isn't. Just like I said, it's not here. Happy? Damn. I got shit to do, so whatever you're here for, make it snappy. Uh, he wanted to know where... Actually, you know what? I don't care what he wanted. If I were you, I'd watch my tone about now. How's your arm? Bloody Mary leaves a bit of a stink, don't she? Jack, did you know that as of this very morning, Big Beast joined the Crooked Man's Obedience School for wayward fucking creatures? He's already I passed don't know. his first class. You see, the sheriff had who he stupidly thought was the murderer been chasing him for fucking days, right? But the Crooked Man snapped his bloody fingers here. and Big B handed him over just like that. I'm, uh... Just gonna uh, let you two, you know. Tell me everything you know right now about the murders and the crooked man. Oh, come on, don't freeze. Come on. Are you kidding me? It there was here. It was right fucking here. What did you do with it? How the fuck do I know? Listen, you bald little dipshit! You're gonna move! You piece of shit! Oh. I'm gonna rip your fucking lungs out! Back it up, Jersey. You're dealing with me now. I didn't expect to see you upright. Still looking for whoever killed them hookers? Or are you done chasing your tail? Where's my axe? Who'd you give it to? You follow me here all the way from Battery fucking Park? Trust me, you do not want to go there. And what if I do? You talk big, but I don't think you got the stones to back it up. <laughs> Still a little sore, are we? Why should Mary get all the fun? You ain't so Damn, tough. he's about to fuck up. You know what? I'm just gonna hand... Ah! You fucking mother... Oh, oh, fucker. Oh. What the hell are 
Ooh. This is my fucking fight. <laughs> Wrecked. You got a lot of nerve. He's got one's cool face. Oh. And my Xbox is probably heating up. There she is. Oh, I almost just fucked that up. His ankle, ankle. Oh! Blood and glory, mate. Oh, bollocks! Come on. See how hot my Xbox is. No, it's actually not that hot. Trust you. Would this face lie to you? You don't know anything about anything, do you? What do you have? Nothing. Had ah, useless bitch Snow White in a broken fucking mirror. No fucking friends. What did you hear? It got broken. Oh, that. Gossip flies fast. We're like a sewing circle. Yeah. It doesn't matter what you fucking do. You're not gonna get him. You wanna knock shame. on his fucking door and see what happens? Fine. Crane had the mirror. Bloody Mary had Crane. So take your fucking wrecking crew act to the butcher shop. The cut above. If I can find the mirror piece there, I can find the crooked man. That's her spot. That's where all the magic happens. Well, thanks, now man. leave me. So I can find some aspirin. Oh, <laughs> oh. Will Mary be there? You want me to draw you a picture? I don't fucking know. You got what you want. Now get the fuck out of here. Lego. Hey, Sheriff. Those girls are still dead. Oh, and there's nothing you can do to bring them back. And I don't know what they did, 
But I do know this. I don't have to listen to this shit. Out of smoke. Well, that was fun. Thanks. Shitty friend. You're welcome. Hmm. <laughs> I'm not Thanks. gonna lie. I was having trouble deciding which one of you to hit with this thing. Jersey was wrong, you know. About what? About those girls. There is something you can do about it. You can get the fucker who did it. Ain't that the plan? Yeah. You're damn right it is. All right. Go do it then. I'm actually enjoying this. It's a pretty good game. Hey, Woody. Yeah. You gonna be all right? You know me. Okay then, that was interesting. Wrecked. <laughs> no smoking in this place. Must not do like how they just like leave it there. Not very appetizing. Frozen solid. Who'd want to eat this? I do not know. Who would eat that? I do not know. Okay. I don't see these cuts anywhere in here. Huh, empty. Either he's got a whole lot of customers, or he doesn't have any. Right. Come on then. Bigby Wolf? happened to you? I'm looking for a piece of the magic mirror. Um, wh what? The magic mirror's missing shard. Where is it? Bloody Mary. Being pretty sinister, though. Didn't she? What? B Bloody Mary? Magic mirror shard? <laughs> what kind of place do you think this is? Don't bullshit me. I'm not. What you're looking for, I... I think you'd be better off looking at uh, the Lucky Pond. Yeah, or someplace like that. You know where it is, right? I'm gonna take a look around. You don't mind. I... Sheriff, I... Did you hear that? What? Oh, I'm real sorry. Hold on. I, I just gotta go check on that. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Butcher? I just oh, what is he doing? Sick. That that's what Beast was talking about. Hmm. That logo looks familiar. I've seen this before at the Tweedles. Shit. Oh, what the fuck? That's fucking weird. 
Well, okay then. Just wait out front. I I'll be right there. I I've got a bit of a mess back here. Okay. I've had enough of this shit, Johan. Come on out. Just wait in the front. Johan. Right Come out, Johan. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but you're not supposed to be back here for uh, safety purposes. Come on, damn it. Such an innocent guy, you're acting pretty damn strange, Johan. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, come on. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. They're gonna kill me. Oh god, she is gonna fucking kill me. <laughs> Dogs me. scraping Please at the door again. What happened to Sheriff? Please don't kill me, Sheriff. I don't want to die. Please. Please don't kill me. If you don't talk, I might have to do just that. Is that what you want, Johan? No. Oh, no, my dog's please. scraping at the door. You don't have to do that. I'm dead. Either way, they said to me, Johan, you could keep your life and lose your shop or lose both. What would you do? It was a simple choice to make in the moment. Just open the door, Johan. It won't be your problem anymore. I, I can't. Why not? What's back there? I don't know. I, honest. I, I've never been back there. It's locked from the other side. Look, I, I just worked the front. That's all I'm supposed to do. Well, who locked the fucking door? I, I'm not part of their crew. I, I don't know who or, or what goes on back there. Crew? The crooked man's people. Jersey Devil, D and Dumb, and that mental case, Bloody Mary. Y you want to talk about the real butcher? <laughs> it's her, not me. This is her place. I'm telling you, they muscled in on me. Took over my storage and delivery a long time ago. All cause of that heat wave. That summer was even hotter than this one. Well, let's let him talk. Mary and those porkers stay cool in the meat locker one day, playing cards, having a great time. I guess they were sizing the place up. Shows what I get for being nice. I'm just a victim in this. I don't know what they do back there. I swear. A and I don't want to know. Well, we're about to see what's back there. And then we'll see if I believe you. I knew this would happen. Didn't know when. Shh. Can't hear nothing. Damn, I'm strong as fuck. Come on, don't freeze at that time. I love the art in this game. Sick. Oh, this is weird. What is this place? I told you, Big P. I don't know. They muscled me out. I swear, I don't know anything more. I haven't been back here when it was like this. Warning lights. It's business. It's all I've ever had. Damn it, you can't act like you're forced into this and then turn around and help them. You'd still be here if you hadn't flipped that switch out there. I had to. Huh. You come in here making trouble for me. But you only give a shit now because the crooked man stepped on your toes or something. Where were you when they took this place from me? It hasn't been easy for me. You, you think I want to live with this at my back? Well, I'm here now. I'm gonna sort this I'm gonna sort this out.
So this is what Beast was delivering. Glamours, other kinds of magic. Could be dangerous stuff. Uh, what are they making here? I'm just a butcher. You want to talk T-Bones? <laughs> that I can do. This stuff is out of my league. There are a lot of nasty spells you can make with the right equipment. Too bad they had time to erase it all. This could have been useful. <sighs> Bit tired. These are raw materials for making magic. Anti-Greenleaf and any other rogue witches out there probably get their supplies here. Maybe just don't touch anything back here, please? Come on, let's investigate a bit more. Oh, there you go, I didn't see that before. Jeez. Who's getting chained up here? You can't think I'm the only one the crooked man has under his yoke. Is this what those loans get you? That crooked piece of shit. Ribbons, chains, it's... it's all the fucking same. What the hell is that? No, this isn't your coat. What's it doing here? It's a coat. What's the big deal about some dirty... Looks like Crane's seen some abuse. I'm sure he handled it just fine. No time for traveler's checks, huh? He won't be needing this anymore. Piece of well, did not expect that. The shard. Ah, oh, the shard. It's yeah. The yeah. shard. Finally. Hey, hold on. Well, I'm real happy you found what you're looking for, Big B. But what about me? Huh? Do you really think this is gonna be all right? All this stuff in here, I do know one thing. That's his icon, his symbol. What kind of a guy uses a torture device as his icon? <laughs> the kind of guy who isn't gonna be understanding about Big B Wolf showing himself in. So tell me this, what the hell am I supposed to do now? I'm gonna have to spend the rest of my short life looking over my shoulder for Bloody Mary. Report to the business office. Tell Snow I sent you there and we'll, uh, we'll Figure something out. Some kind of protection. Thank you. Thank you, Chef. Well, this is exciting. I can't, can't explain how tired I am, but I, I'm determined to complete the game. Hey. Yes. I don't care who killed the prostitutes. If Crane was helping himself to the community coffers, it means his hand was in my pocket. Can you just let him go? Buffkin, get this piece in the mirror right away. With pleasure, Miss White. <sighs> Finally, things are swinging back in the right direction. Good work, Bigby. You've been gone all day. What did you uncover? Ah, oh, there's the old wrecking bowl himself. Bigby, where have you been? I'm not finished here, Miss White. You will have to wait. <sighs> just one moment. 
please. Look what I found. Grace glitching out a wants a biscuit. But that's over now. Because we got the mirror. And once it's fixed, we got him. All right. I'm not in the mood. And you've got a lot to answer for. Oh, really? Glitched. Great. Well, hopefully it fixes it. I don't care. Oh, please fix it. Prostitutes. If Crane was helping himself to the community coffers, it means his hand was in my pocket. And you just let him go. I don't know what you heard, but it didn't happen like that. Are you denying the facts? Uh, she's denying me the chance to get a word in. Now, Miss White, I Sheriff Bigby has returned. Ah. Oh. There's the old wrecking bowl himself. Higby, where have you been? I'm not finished here, Miss White. You will have to wait. Just one moment, please. Look what I found. Seems your dog <sighs> wants a biscuit. Buffkin, get this piece in the mirror right away. With pleasure, Miss White. <sighs> Finally, things are swinging back in the right direction. Good work, Bigby. This is exciting. You've been gone all day. What did you uncover? I thought you were going to report back to me. I mean, it's fine. Once the mirror's fixed, we can use it to find that crooked bastard. Or at least wherever he hangs his hat. That's how Crane kept tabs on her. And everybody else. I'd say he was abusing the privilege. He was probably spying on all of us. He was probably spying on me. Anyway... No, it's fine. You did excellent work, Bigby. Sheriff, I could use your assistance. Would you join me at the mirror? Don't go far, Sheriff. I'd like to have a few words of my own with you. Oh, yeah? Take a number. I don't understand. <clears throat> this piece just doesn't want down, to join bitch. the rest. Do you have any idea why? Got me. Well, where did you find it? What has it gone through since being separated from the rest? Shattering is a very traumatic experience, you know. I found it at the butcher shop, the cut above. It was in Crane's coat. There was a lot of weird magic going on there. If that has something to do with it. Other than that, the last person I saw with Crane or his coat was that psycho Bloody Mary. Maybe she had some... Ah, yes, Miss White was asking about her. That explains it. You know who and the mirror have a very unhappy history with each other. How would you like it if she tried to use you as a doorway? I think I already know the feeling. Well, I think I know how to proceed now. It will just take a little extra coaxing, that's all. Thank you for your help. It could be a while, Sheriff. I'll find you when it's ready. Besides which, he might not want to come out with you watching. Oh, he doesn't like being spied on. Wow. Is it fixed? Did you ask about the crooked man? Buffkin's still working on it. He said it might be a while. If you're so self oh, so what do you want from the business office out back? Do it, Kieran. What I want is Let my business. I can't take those two right now. We're trying to catch a murderer, and they're... They're over there bickering about bureaucracy. We're at war. Don't they realize that? You need some help over there? Yeah, thanks. Go talk to Toad. But just so you know, we can't pay him. He really needs to go to the farm, you know. 
So just break the news and be done with it, okay? I see how it is. Passed off to an underling, eh? Why am I not surprised? Well, you did cause what damage brings me in here, so maybe it's for the best. Just need a little bit of dosh to cover it. I tried talking to her about it, but it's like chatting up a brick wall, it is. Now, I'm sure you've got your own agenda, Sheriff, but I've taken a real wallet because of you. I'm starting to think you don't take me seriously, Toad. How many times have I told you to get glamoured up? You know that if you're out of glamour, I gotta send you to the farm. Well, how about your friend the pig, hmm? Is he going to the farm too? Yeah, you thought we didn't know about him, huh? Colin stays in my apartment. It's a lot different than a three-foot-tall frog walking the streets. What? If the pig doesn't have to go, I shouldn't either. Okay, okay. If you give me one more chance and hear me out, Come on. see a way for me and me boy to stay. I'm not gonna have anything I need. I just wanna stay. So what do you say? You just give me enough to cover me glamours and we'll call the rest a watch. Please, Sheriff. Don't take TJ from the only army knows. This old glamour rule is oppressive. I've done nothing wrong but look different. You know it's not right. Look. I'll try to get you that money and get you another chance, but you have to understand, that's not entirely up to me. Oh, thank you, Sherry. I knew I could count on you to make me whole again. We get this sorted and I'll be glamoured to the nines of it. Super tired. Super tired. I'm not yet, but I know it will come. Bluebeer, you want to talk? Now's your chance. I've just made my donation funding this office. So direct your questions to Miss White. Well, at least yeah. he's not trying to get rid of me. He's not. For now. Did you take care of Toad? I mean, I saw the way he left. I know it may not seem that important right now, but glamours are the law for a very good reason. You know that as well as anyone. Well, did you or didn't you? So I forgot to press a button then. <sighs> Fine, we'll deal with it later. I know I should be asking how it got like this, Oops. but I just I keep wondering why it happened to Faith and Lily. You've seen his world. Do you have any idea why he'd want them dead? I don't know if the crooked man killed them with his own hand or if it was one of his goons, but someone did. What would make a person do that? What could those girls have done? If there's one thing I've figured out, that the crooked man is all about control. It's what he does with the loans at the pawn shop. Do do Magic do do battles, do. Chains, ribbons. Maybe Faith and Lily weren't doing what they were told. Or maybe they just tried to leave. Sheriff, this white! I believe the mirror is repaired. Yay. I have to say, I she have been in the mirror. But thanks for putting me back together. I'm sorry, I just... I have to know. Mirror, mirror, we're glad you weren't slain. Now please show us that sick creep crane. Are you really sure you want to see him? You will get on that plane to Paris, and you will wait for the day the crooked man needs you. Until then, not a peep. Otherwise, I get to deal with you my way. So please, please disobey. Wait a minute. Someone's watching. Damn, she knows. What just happened? We pointed you in the wrong direction. We looked at Bloody Mary's reflection. Oh, her. That explains the sting. I'd rather not have to feel the pain she brings. So, let's not do that again, okay? Looks like we'll have to track him down later. You're right. We need to focus on the immediate threat, and that's the Crooked Man. Bigby, we don't have a lot of time. Are you having trouble with the rhyme, Sheriff? Just show me where I can find the Crooked Man. I haven't been feeling well of late. 
Seems neither of us can cooperate. Damn. Wow, cheers, mate. Perhaps I can be of assistance? <clears throat> mirror, mirror, keep us sane. Show the door to Crooked Man's domain. I can always count on you, Buffkin. Cheers, Buffkin. I don't recognize the door, but that's the Crooked Man symbol on it. Hold off. door it moves yeah jersey mentioned that wait a minute i know that door that's central park i don't know when it's gonna move again but i'm gonna get there before it does big b wait when you get the crooked man make sure you bring him back alive he has to stand trial we can't just dispense street justice i know that emotions can wow why not and you have your reasons to handle this a certain way I can't make that promise. This could turn sour, just depending on how the wind blows. I have to be able to handle it how I <clears throat> see fit. If people are going to have faith in the Fable Town government again, we need to be fair. Show them that we're doing things the right way. I have enough to worry about well, here. Well, if you don't want to do things the right way. Against him. So I'm going to trust you to handle this properly. Okay. That is, if you think you're ready. Of course I'm ready. I got no other choice. Let's go. Run, run, run away. Let go. now. And about that knife. Tim, what the hell are you doing here? Good evening, Sheriff. I'm here to take you to the boss. Thanks, by the way, for leaving off Tiny. I have to admit, when they asked me to watch the That's door, weird. I wasn't sure what to expect when you came through that portal. Hold on. You've just been waiting for me to show up? You knew I was coming? That's what they told me. I don't know. They said you made it pretty clear. I'm supposed to bring you right on in, so if you'll come this way. Look, this is the one thing I have to do. Fine. Lead on. Let's go follow the leader. Following the leader. Do, 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 do. Thanks for understanding. This is all I'm here to do, and I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> I know I'm probably the last person you'd expect to be a guard, or an escort for that matter. I was a little surprised myself when they asked me to do it. Tim, how can you be working here? You know who this guy is, don't you? He's not. He's not as bad as you think. He doesn't treat me like some broken little kid. I think he gets what it's like. He gave me a job, and I'm lucky to have it. This is the only option I've got. Just keep that in mind, maybe? Because if you and the boss go up against each other, the rest of Fable Town is going to get caught in the middle. Don't you realize you're not just minding the door? Work for that crooked bastard, your hands get dirty, too. It's not so bad. Not so bad? Are you fucking blind, Tim? That's so good. Murderer. So you're telling me you agree with everything Crane does? A lot of us depend on him. Some of us never get to the front of the line at the business office. But he's there. We need you, but we need him too. What we don't need is a war. 
Hey, Sheriff, hold up. I gotta go in with you. Can't you just wait up, Sheriff? Thanks. <laughs> oh, always been a good guy. What did I tell you, Ed? Stop laughing at me. Oh, yeah? Mate, I ain't scared of you. Tell me who the it's fuck the is back wolf. there. I got a problem. I, I don't exactly know. I, I just around. mind the door. And like the boss is there. Him. I'm sure he would prove himself quite handy to have in my pocket. Either he's smart enough to see this is for the best, or dim enough to do as he's told. Uh, that won't be necessary. Sheriff Wolf, sir. Damn. Thank you, Tim. I know the sheriff isn't the accommodating sort, but you handled it. Loving that eye. You did well. You can go now. Thank you, sir. Yeah, he has got an ugly face. You see, everyone in Fable Town has a role to fill. You just have to pay attention to what they need to help them find it. He's got one ugly face. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. I smoke a bit. Well, okay. I guess that's probably. <laughs> I've heard stories about you. In the old days, how you picked off those men one by one. Oh, how they screamed. The wolf is coming. And they would wait, hiding anywhere they could squeeze their pathetic, shivering corpses. Some would just drop to their knees where they stood, close their eyes, and wait for death. And you'd give it to them. <laughs> I don't know I what's wish happening. I could have seen it. <sighs> oh well. <gasps> well, okay. Shit, that scared me. Okay, one more episode to go. I mean, I your eyes and the teeth. You're not really supposed to do that, are you? <sighs> what time are you going? Not if I can avoid it. Holly's sister. Lily. Do you even give a shit Don't about know. us? The strays. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon. Isn't it? We're destroying the tree. No! 
We're not burning the trees now. Whoops. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? Look, uh, maybe a few will get sent out. Oh. You're my friend, Colin. I wouldn't do that to you. Oh God, Bigby! This time was no joke. Do, 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 do. Many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one, one more, more silver round to go. your heart, and the only yeah. place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Bigby, wait. When you get the crooked man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. Well, Budgeons, what's well, uh, been remodeled? Going to co op? I think so. I don't really care. It'll be the same place. Okay. Oh. Thanks. It's minging. And if my envoys are correct, you haven't had a lot of rest recently. Please, um. Sheriff, relax for a moment, will you? Do you want a drink? Something to eat? Vivian makes a very nice, very... It's elegant. Really, a carpaccio. It's lobster. Sirloin. Got a scotch? Only Tennessee whiskey, unfortunately. What do you think you're doing? He's gonna... Mr. Wolf is our guest, and I have every intention of cooperating. So don't waste the silver. Sit down, Jersey. Well, do, 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 do. for the sake of transparency, why don't you tell us why you're here? It would help settle everyone's nerves, I think. You're going to make me guess, are you? Very well. The recent murders that have gotten such attention as of late. I don't relish telling you that they were perpetrated by an employee of mine. It's a very unfortunate bit of business, but I promise you that the matter will be dealt with internally. I just want to settle the issue for you, and to assure you that it's over with. An unfortunate bit of business? You're gonna tell me right now who killed him? Sheriff, I have complete respect for you and your job. I Damn. But I simply can't divulge that information. You really shouldn't worry yourself. As I said, I've got this under control. No, I'm gonna deal with it right now. Yeah, right. What do you think this is? Some kind of negotiation? The man said he'd take care of it. So why don't you take the hint and get out? I'm already pissed off. You don't want to yeah, make I'm... it worse. You think I'm scared of you? <laughs> You're nothing more That's than That's enough. I was hoping it wouldn't come to this, but in the interest of preserving our alliance, if you have to know, it was Georgie. Damn. However, like I said, I'd be handling the matter if you don't mind. Georgie. 
You got what you wanted, so just sit down now. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah, I killed him, so what? You should have just kept your nose where it fucking belonged. Georgie. Why'd you do it? Why kill them? Does it matter? Look, the fact is... George here misinterpreted Damn. one of my instructions. Misinterpreted? And I want to make things right. So, let's work something out. What's there to work out? I'm protected, aren't I? Your protection has limits, and I think you've far exceeded yours. But you could murder someone in cold blood like that. You fucking asked me to do this! And then you attempt me to, to kill blame him. me for it. You will be silent while we discuss what to do with you. This is right, bollocks, sis. You're just gonna let him do this? So what do you say, Sheriff? Can we discuss terms? You can have Georgie. Consider it a gift. Ensuring our continued cooperation. What the hell? All right, let's talk. You can't just hand me over. What the fuck is this shit? You said you'd cover for us. For minor infractions, not murder. Just go with him, Georgie. You're gonna sink us all. What's wrong with you people? You're really gonna sell him out just like you that? You can't give a fuck if I'm the one who... Who the shit do you think you fuckers are? Get the fuck out of I here! I do apologize, Sheriff, but I think it's best if you leave now. There's no way I'm going with him! Are you kidding me? Things are about to get unpleasant, and I would rather you weren't here to watch. You can go join that whore at the bottom of the lake for all I give a shit, but he's not taking me anywhere. Damn. I'll roll over on the lot of you before I let that shit happen. I'm not going anywhere. This could have gone so well. To speak the truth, I've never been a very good mediator. Why negotiate when you can just decide? Yes, yeah, bloody man. <laughs> Did I miss anything good? Well, look at you all fixed up. Oh, damn. Come on, don't do that. Freeze. You're done, Wolf. Come on, we're pretty much done here. I'd like to say it was nice knowing you, but I'll be glad to see your insides turned out. Got him now. No, it's freezing in there, Mom. I'm completing this. I'm completing this. I've done it for almost eight hours now.
away. Shit. Oh well. Run, run, run away. Come on. Let go. Hmm, <laughs> you don't say. Keep some freezing because I think my Xbox is too hot. Eight hours straight, playing one game and streaming at the same time. Can't be good. So apparently that's not doing anything. Okay. Okay then. Senses. <laughs> oh, crooked man's the one you want. But of course, you're too much of an idiot to see that. Or maybe you just like me too much to let me go. I'm taking you in, Georgie. Let's go. Oh, you're gonna carry me? Damn. Please, Sheriff. Haven't you done enough? Look at him. He's dying. Vivian. You don't know what you're doing. You can't seriously want to protect this guy. You know what he did. I'm not going anywhere. It isn't his fault. He's a murderer. Faith and Lily, he's the reason they're dead. Look, I know he made a few mistakes. We all have. What? He made sure they couldn't talk with those damn ribbons, and then he killed them. You're wearing one yourself. Doesn't that bother you even a little, knowing that man murdered- Of course it does. Girl, so it's all my fucking fault then. I you didn't fucking mean. Ah, You're gonna throw me to the Damn. fucking wolf too. That's uh You know I didn't have a goddamn choice. What the insane. fuck? I did what I had to! Do, do, do. You can't fucking blame me for that. Why'd you do it then, huh? 
Yeah, what do you do? Your bitch? Fault, then what the fuck happened? Ooh, look, Faith and the others tried to pull a run on us, and as you can imagine, the crooked man wasn't too thrilled. But of course, the big boss didn't want to get his fucking hands dirty. So he told me to take care of it. You think I don't know what that means? Either I do what he says or I'm the well. one getting dealt with. So I fucking killed him. And I'd do it again. Cause it's not my fault. The crooked man gave the order. He told me to kill them. And then he fucking sold oh, me no. out. That's not Rip. my problem. Oh, I get it. When a pretty little girl shows up at your door wanting help, you've got all the time in the world. But when I've got something to say, it's not your problem. <laughs> Well, fuck you. Rip. Go ahead and arrest me then. But it mm. won't bring back Lily or Faith. It won't free your friend Narissa. And I'm just the sap taking the fall for the whole thing. St it I'm so, so tired. Easy being you. Just come in here so and tired. me for all this shit. Job's done, right? George is the bad guy. It's all his fucking fault. Oh, oh, oh. But what was I supposed to do? You don't know what it's like, Bigby. How could you know? At the end of the day, you're just like him. You could have done anything else. You could have let them go. You could have freed Faith and Lily from those fucking ribbons instead of murdering them. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. If I freed them... Do -do -do. What would you have me do? Kill her? Georgie, don't. It was them or Vivian. So you tell me. If freeing Lily meant she had to die. Do you still think I had a fucking choice? What are you doing? What are you talking about? This is the original. The girl with the ribbon. I'm sure you've heard the stories. Couldn't take it off. Couldn't talk about it. She used her little purple ribbon to make more of them. To keep our girls quiet. To ensure absolute Ooh, discretion. You promised you wouldn't. All that magic is connected to this little thing. You remove hers, and the spell's broken. They're all free. But you know what happens to her? The same thing that happened to Faith. So don't you come in here and tell me I fucked up. What the hell, Georgie? We were supposed to look out for each other. I trusted you. You can't fucking blame me. You're not innocent here is. either. Wait, so you've been helping this asshole? I thought you cared about them. I do. Of course I do. You have to understand. Nobody was supposed to die. When we built this place, it, it was just a stupid idea. A gimmick. Discretion is our guarantee. That's how it started okay, anyway. This was supposed to be our place. We were going to be in charge for once, and nobody would try to control us or use us. That was the point. Then the crooked man showed up, and everything just turned to shit. So, do you get it now? Why I couldn't just... If you still think it's so fucking simple, then you do it. Go right ahead. Kill her then. What are you doing? Break the spell. Save the fucking day. Stop it. I told you. Sometimes all your options are shit. We'll find another way. She she doesn't have to die. Maybe the witches Don't talk can... Don't about me like I'm not even here. Please. You think this is hard for you? <sighs> My Rip. life is such a fucking die, burden bitch. on your conscience. Don't I get a say? It's my life. Like it was either of yours to give up in the first place. You're right. It's your life. I know what I've done. Wait. I'm sick of everyone thinking that they can just dun, do what dun. they want with my life. I thought it would be different here. But it's all the fucking same. Vivian, I didn't mean... Do you think I wanted to be this person? What I did to Faith and Lily? To all of them. Vivian... Wait, I... Every day I have to look Gwen and Hans in the eye and pretend I don't care. I have to forget what I've yeah. done to them. What I took away from them. Mm. I look at Nerissa and I hate myself. Vivian! I can't pretend anymore. What are you doing? Vivian! Oh no, don't, don't do it. Oh. Vivian! Georgie. No! Fuck! No, no, no! Well, no. okay then. Why do you have to do that, Vivian? Vivian! It's alright. Shit! Tell me the Are you happy you now? Know. Is this... We can just watch it. Vivian! I didn't fucking mean it! I was just... 
Well, okay then. Bye. Oh, fuck! Get up. Get up! Don't think pretty so brutal. I'm gonna die here. I think we both know that. Just make sure you Bye. give the crooked man the same treatment when you find oh, him. This is pretty weird really fuck him up for me all right i'm in the middle of something for both of us you know the bastard deserves it don't worry about the crooked man <sighs> old foundry by the river all right shepherd metal works he'll be there fucking asshole oh dog don't bark you want to finish me off now Or do you plan to kick me around a little first? Rip my limbs off one by one? That's what you want to do, right? Well, whatever it is, just get it over with. That's not who I am. Prove it, then. No more games, all right? We both know how this ends. <laughs> well, it's getting dark. Just make it quick. Gruesome. I think I've only got four more episodes left. Not episodes, chapters. Then I'm done. <laughs> oh. Can't believe it's almost eight hours. Might be eight hours actually, I don't know. Let's go. Of course. Use my strength. Boom. Walking over to the door. What is in here? This where the crooked man is. Big B Wolf. The big bad wolf. No. <laughs> big 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 bad wolf. Hey? Where are you? I'm so confused. Ah. You used to be something. They used to kill you, bitch. Oh. 
Well, okay then. They'd hide anywhere their small shivering bodies would fit. This is super weird. Just is. Was that silver bullets? Silver. The big bad wolf. Oof. It's about time you showed up. I had to take care of some things first. Little errand boy. That's nice. Ah, Bigby. I see you made it here in one piece. I do apologize, but I have some business. He's got one ugly face, though. I leave you in the capable hands of my uh, associate. The cookie man. Come find me when you finish, dear. Don't worry. This won't take long. Get out of my way now. Don't make this worse. Aw, he doesn't want to play. I'm sure you will persuade him. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What a man. Stealing punches while my back is turned. Didn't your mother ever teach you to fight proper? Well, I just managed to miss that. <laughs> Bitch. How does she do that? Oof. Where is this bitch? Where's Bloody Mary? Where's Bloody Mary? Come out, come out, wherever you are. By far the way this one. Bad wolf. I'm the big bad wolf. by the second. Oh, 
Oh, damn. Take you all on. Bad wolf is going in on. Oh, yeah, bitch. exciting. A silver bullet. Two more chapters and I'm done. Don't jab me, bitch. Hello, Bigby. You look tired. Give me one good reason not to rip you apart right now. This gun holds six rounds of specially designed silver bullets. Yeah, I'm, now, I'm pretty know. sure there's... I won't miss next time. I'm pretty sure there's only uh, five episodes, uh, five chapters in one episode. So I'm all, might be wrong. Snow White wants you to bring me back to the woodlands, doesn't she? And that's what I want. You sure about that? Yes, I'm quite hmm? sure. You will Thanks for back telling me. <laughs> Look, all I ask for is the chance to speak for myself in front of the community. And I'm sure Miss White would agree that I should be given a fair trial. Can we at least agree on that? I will have a trial. The whole town will be calling for your execution. Why would you want me to bring you back there? Why don't you let me worry about that? Look, there's no reason for us to be at each other's throats here. That's funny, coming from a guy pointing a gun at my head. This is just a precaution. I'm sure you understand. I'm no murderer, Mr. Wolf. I didn't kill those women. And I think you know that. All I'm asking for is a chance to explain my side of the story. If you're not a killer, then what are you? Yeah, what are you, bitch? I'm a businessman, not a killer. 
There's still um, a lot you have this. to answer for. And I will. As long as you agree to my terms. Because I'm not saying another word until I'm brought before the community. Oof. And I don't think I'm being unreasonable. If you decide to do something stupid, like murder me, you won't get your answers. But you will have a difficult time explaining yourself to Miss White and the rest of this miserable town. You're often reckless. And I worry you're not thinking of the... Let me ask you an honest question. What do you really care about here? Where this case is concerned, I mean. Do you really want the truth? Or do you just want to look like the hero? I'm doing this for Faith. Because she and Lily died. And someone is gonna answer for that! Then why are you here? You know who murdered them. Georgie. He's dead, isn't he? My point being, the killer has been dealt with. You've won. You really think I'm that stupid? I understand you have an obligation to bring me in. But you can brighten up a little. It's over. Damn. So, shall we get it's going? Intense. I'd rather not dawdle. You know, I'm actually looking forward Ooh. to seeing Miss White again. My previous interactions with her have gone rather well. Oh, I don't think so. We're not doing this your way. How unfortunate. I was hoping we could make this work. What are you gonna do now? Rip me apart like some kind of animal? Killing me here would achieve nothing. And what would Miss White think? You show up with nothing but a corpse. No answers, no proof. Oh You'll fuck, I don't know. Um, and she'll barely start to look yeah, at you. Yeah, fuck. Is it worth yeah. it? I'm gonna fucking kill him. This is it for you. You make you said enough. Fucking hell. I just killed that bitch. Can't believe it. I just played through a fool. I just played through a fool. Fucking. Where the hell is Big B? Oh, come on! Where is he? Are you fucking kidding me? Are we sure he's coming? Mm? Yes, any minute. And then we'll get started. No, I really got that appreciate one. you taking the time. I know it's short notice, but given the circumstances. <laughs> Damn. Killed that bitch. What have you done? Oh, God. Bigby. <laughs> shit. He killed him. Holy shit. I didn't think you had it in you, Bigby. Stop it. <laughs> Wrecked. You ripped him apart. I told you to bring him back alive. You really fucked him up. What did you do? He's... Okay, everyone. Just calm down. I thought I wanted him gone. This... It's terrible. No, it isn't. What the hell happened? Tell me. Tell me yeah, why you okay. did this. I think it's pretty clear. He nearly ripped his head off. It just, just happened. Was happening so fast. I didn't have just time happened. to think about it. I just did it. That's your excuse? Look at him. Ooh. Oh, God. Would it have been that hard to restrain him? Did you really have to murder the man? Hang on. It's not murder. Then what would you call it? Justice, maybe? This is not justice! You know it's not. Why not? This is Bigby Wolf doing whatever the hell he wants. Which, in this case... You can't do things like this anymore. 
I say it is justice, and that's the end of it. Are you serious? Boom! That Dropped is a big not bomb the on end of it. What are you getting on his case about? He did the right thing here. If this fucker killed Lily. And Faith. How can we be sure of that? Without a trial, what evidence do we have? We never had anything concrete. That's why we needed him here. Georgie told me everything. The crooked man made him kill those girls. He gave yeah. the order. Georgie? Where's Georgie now? If we bring him in for questioning, we... What? Where is he? Big B? Dead. Is he still out there? I sincerely hope not. Well, where is he? Sheriff? Georgie was a victim of this psycho, too. He was pushed into the whole thing. That doesn't answer the question. Georgie and the crooked man were guilty of murder. I made sure they couldn't hurt anyone else. You mean... So he's dead. Is that what you're telling me? Damn. I don't even know what to yeah. say to you right now. Maybe that's not such a bad thing. You're on board with this? I don't know. I mean, it's not like the crooked man didn't deserve it. And if Georgie killed them... You think anyone deserves this? Your job is to keep Fabletown safe. The minute you start abusing your position by attacking people, we betray the trust of this community. And killing those people out there, on your own, without my... Without due process, it makes us look like, like... killers? How could you do this? It's just one thing after another. Look, I'm glad he's fucking dead. But like this? What does it really matter? You should be thanking me. You should I thank me, yeah, bitch. The crooked man and Georgie. It's all over because of what I did. I can't believe this. I made myself very clear. This is not okay. Snow's right. This is disgusting. Oh, it's much worse than that. What? Are you guys buddy buddy with the crooked man all of a sudden? What the fuck is wrong with you? Grand. Everyone, that's enough. Bigby, oh, I can't damn. protect you without the support of this community. The minute you kill another suspect, I won't be able to stop them from calling for your resignation. And yours. <laughs> Rex. If that happens, I can't defend you. I'd like to see them try. I don't nah. plan on going anywhere. You keep doing crap like this, and that won't be up to you. Listen, maybe you were right this time about the crooked man, but what happens when you're yeah. wrong? Hey, I was straight. The second you make a mistake about someone, mm. I won't watch you become a murderer. I think it's too late for that. I'm not a murderer. Good. So how do you explain that? That's not- Bigby, don't. Having some personal yeah. issues, Miss White? Can't well, not anymore. Your mutt. Bluebeard, this is hardly the time. It looks like as long as the wolf thinks you're guilty, he has free reign to murder you in your sleep. No, that's not this how- this what we can expect from now on? Yeah, you make one Ooh. mistake and Bigby's gonna rip your head off? Hey, that's not fair. Nah, I'll just bat you around for a while. Make sure you get thoroughly fucked up. Don't be ridiculous, beast. I'm not about to... You think I'm being ridiculous? We all know what you're capable of. You nearly gouged my eyes out. Beast. Please, the sheriff isn't going you to... You see? The wolf does whatever the hell he wants, and the princess is no better. Now, hang on a minute. You don't believe me? They came to oh, my damn. apartment, and then for no earthly reason... She wanted my tree destroyed. What? Why would you do that? She was helping people glamour themselves as other fables. We couldn't let that continue. I can't say I'm fucking surprised. I am. Snow, how could you do that? You tried to ruin my life for no reason at None of this matters. We're not here to talk about your damn tree. It doesn't matter. Bigby just means It that... matters to me. You know why I asked him to destroy your tree. You were working with Crane and the Crooked Man. So to... that makes me a villain? You can pretend it's oh, about babe. law and order, but it's time you stopped lying to yourself. You wanted to get back at me for what Crane did. But that doesn't justify it. You both just act out of your own selfish desires. It doesn't matter what's right. At this point, I'd rather have Crane. You don't mean that. 
At least Crane didn't kick the shit out of everybody. Or destroy what's ours. He also earned the position. Don't start. <laughs> he left us alone. Things will only get worse now. I've had about enough of this shit. You really think you'd rather have Crane back? You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Excuse me? Hey, wait. You can't talk to us that way. Bigby's right. You people don't know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> do you bitch. seriously think you want Crane back? He was an asshole, and he didn't do shit for any of you. Snow and Bigby found my sister when Crane wouldn't even look. Yeah, but they only came around when they thought it was Snow White who ate it. No, they cared about Lily. They care about all of us. Even if they've got a funny way of showing it sometimes. Thank you, Holly. Oh, come on, Holly. Maybe Snow gives a fuck, but Bigby? I mean, this I get. But I didn't do shit wrong, and I got tossed around your fucking bar. That was different, Gren. Holly's right. Crooked Man took over my shop, but Bigby tried to help me out. Everyone, please, just calm down. We have a right to be heard. Are you afraid of what we have to say? This isn't helping. I'm not finished. Like we give a Need shit. some help, Miss White. Just a minute. This can't continue. Listen. Everyone just shut up. Or what? <laughs> Bigby? Don't. Please, Wrecked. do not blame the sheriff for his outburst. It isn't Bigby's fault. He can't control his nature. And frankly, I wouldn't dare ask him to try. But with a sheriff so impulsive, shouldn't the new deputy mayor have at least some command over her office? Little beard? Are either of them fit to run this town? Can I say something? Excuse me? Nerissa. Who the hell is she? My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, please step aside. Let her speak, Bluebeard. But let her speak. Oh, shut down, bitch. <laughs> I haven't been able to speak my mind for a long time. We were prisoners at that club. We had nowhere to go. No one cared enough. Certainly not Crane. You're acting like they haven't done anything good in the last few days, but you know that's not true. Because of the sheriff and Snow, I can finally talk about what happened to me, to all of us. We're free now, and I think that should count for something. Thank you, Nerissa. She's right. We haven't been there for you in the past, and I'll be the first to admit we've made plenty of mistakes. But I truly want what's best for this town, and we're trying to make things right. And Fuck it that may not always be clear right away. But I want you all to know that I care deeply about all of you. And I'm sure Bigby does too. It's going to take some time to clean up Crane's mess, but he's gone now. The crooked man is dead, the killer has been found, and you can all rest easy knowing we're here to look out for you. I'll make sure of it. While that's all very touching, is it enough? I'm still not convinced Fuck this off, White Bluebird. has what it takes no to like control you. the sheriff or run this town. I am. We haven't really given them a chance. Crane just left. Let's see what Snow and Bigby can do on their own. I trust Snow to do right by us. Bigby too. I think they've had enough chances. Things are finally changing around here. Maybe you don't feel it, but I do. Bigby and Snow are good for Fable Town. She's right. Now that things have settled down, I'm sure they can do better. And we will. Right, Sheriff? Of course we will. We're not like Crane. We'll look out for you. We'll see. Do do do. Do you see that? It's finally over. Good riddance, at least. This won't end well. Shit. It's over now. Bye bye, bitch.
is that over or not? Is it over? Do you know if it's over? Hey, Sheriff. Is it, is it over? No. Another chapter. You come see the truck off? We're leaving for the farm in a few. Thought you might want to. I don't know. I'll be down in a minute. Okay. Great. This fucking line. Oh, uh, Mr. Wolf? Flycatcher left his keys. Damn. I'm sorry about what happened with the crooked man. I didn't. I'm, I'm sorry, Sheriff. I have to take care of this. We'll talk later, okay? Is that your phone? Good morning, Miss White. You're late. Oh dear. Someone's gonna see Pig. you, Colin. Colin. Colin's chilling. This has been a long, long stream. I'm tired. Just gonna get sleep. I need to finish this. Oh, Gowan! Jesus! We only have like five minutes. They carry me for fuck's sake! I don't give a shit! Forgot these. Oh, thank you. It's uh, been pretty busy around here. Morning, Sheriff. Nice fucking day. <sighs> Shit. Just go grab that, would you? Sorry about all this. Uh, I tried to help. Just why the hell did she have to send me and me boy away, huh? You promised me I'll get another chance. But Miss White said I had to go up to the damn farm anyway. Wait, Sheriff Bigby, I have something. <laughs> you know, he was up crying all night, poor kid. Can you give this to Miss White, please? Dad says there's no time to say goodbye, so... Dang. If you could bring it to her, she was nice. Yeah, sure. I couldn't take them all with me, and she said she liked that one the best. It's a willow beetle. That's a big one. They're cool, because when they're little, they have these pouches that squirt juice at you if you touch them. I'm sure she'll love it. She said it was pretty. We're about oh, ready to God. head out. What's it like at the farm? I've heard ogres huh? live there, and, and they eat people in their mm. sleep sometimes. God, I hope not. Do we have to go? I want to stay here. Well, we don't have a choice anymore. <laughs> don't worry. You'll be a lot safer there. There's plenty of space to run around, uh, and a nice river nearby so you can swim all you want. Even in daytime? Yeah. You don't have to worry about the Monday seeing you. Oh. Be nice. <laughs> Come on, it won't be so bad. Have you been there before? I'm uh, <laughs> the animals aren't comfortable around wolves. No, it's uh, a you wouldn't know, no, I've would never you? been there before. We're all set. Bye, Mr. Wolf. Goodbye, TJ. 
Hey, Bigby. Where's your friend, Colin? Where's a fucking pig? How should I know? It's right, shut him down. Saying goodbye? Hi. Hi. Still wearing that thing. Oh. Yeah. I guess I am. It's not easy to forget. I know it seems like I should be able to... Let me help. Bigby, I... I know you're trying to help. But this is just something I need to do on my own. Okay? Listen, I... I came here because... I have to tell you something. What is it? It's about what happened to Faith and Lily. I'm not sure where to start. <sighs> dun, dun, dun. Faith, Lily and I, we had this plan. We we're gonna find a way out. Leave the pudding and pie for good. But then Faith decided to get some leverage. She stole a picture of Crane and Lily together. The minute Faith stole that photo, we had dirt on one of the crooked man's allies. If he found out, I... I had no choice. You have to understand. You've seen how they kept us quiet in that place. Can you imagine the lengths they go just to silence someone who had physical evidence? It's okay. Just calm down. I freaked out, okay? I thought if I came clean to Georgie, he'd get the crooked man to leave us alone. We could just forget the whole thing. Maybe try again in a few years. You what? So I this told is. him everything. And I begged for mercy for all of us. I didn't want anyone to die over a picture. You were just trying to protect them. Yeah. Uh. Georgie promised he'd smooth things over with the crooked man. But then... Oh, God. <sighs> you know not like that. I don't know yeah. what happened, but that night at the club, Georgie came back and told me things had changed. He had to make an example of us. We had committed treason. And while the two of us were sitting there, as he was telling me this, Faith walked in, and I had to watch while Georgie... It was my fault. I sold them out. I'm... So sorry, that's that's horrible. <sighs> that night after Faith, I tried to warn Lily, but she wasn't with her scheduled appointment. So I did the only thing I could do. I I left Faith's head at your doorstep. You dun, dun, dun. I walked her over here. Why would you do that? I couldn't think of any other way to get your attention. So you... You started all this. I just... Pointed you in the right direction. People like us get forgotten all the time. The crooked man was counting on that. When we suffer, we do it in silence. And the world likes it that way. We just... Fade. Like we never existed. I couldn't watch that happen to Faith, or Lily. Nobody cares about us. I'm sorry, Narissa. I'm sorry that's what it took to get me to pay attention. It'll be different now. We'll make things right. You and Snow. I don't know. It seems like no matter what I do, it's just not enough for her, or anyone. I just can't win with these people. I know it might feel that way, but they need you, Bigby. Both of you. You two make a good team. The way you look out for each other, and look out for us. You don't see that a lot these days. Snow doesn't really need me. I'm sure that's not true. After everything you've done for us, maybe they don't want to admit it, but without you, none of this would have happened. You listened, when no one else would. You knew when to show mercy. And you brought justice to this town. Finally. 
If you hadn't killed the crooked man back there, he would have just talked his way out of it like he always does. So from where I'm standing, you did the right thing. You've been given this job for a reason. And I left Faith at your doorstep because I knew if anyone stood a chance against the crooked man, it was you. You've changed this place. For better or worse, Fable Town wouldn't be the same without you. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Dun dun dun. I need to tell you something. I have to tell you something. I feel like we've met before. You're trying to place me. You like my ribbon? Do you like it? Faith wore one too. Would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. They used to call me the little mermaid. Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? He said he wanted to run more tests. I hope you find what you're looking for. Pressed X at the last minute, but it didn't. Oh well, it's not the biggest issue. I'll see you around, Wolf. I feel like I'm just gonna about pass out. Like, ugh. I'm happy to have face come on to see the look on my face is like it's halfway through it, you know. <sighs> well, uh, you know, to remember, I honestly don't care. That scared me. <laughs> oh, well, that's the end. <sighs> I think I've streamed for eight hours straight now. <laughs> uh. So, stream for about eight hours straight, just to finish this game. Yeah, and I did it. I didn't give up. Did it all night. So I'm tired. This is gonna go up on my YouTube channel. So, if you want to go and watch it, go watch it. If you want to skip some bit, yeah, do whatever. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. And bye.